Hello, hello, hello. I'm almost ready. My food just arrived, so I just need to get it in here. We're gonna have a little bit of a... Melly tries not to munch too much on microphone night. Hello, hello, hello. Weird. It's like we were just here. How's it going, Purple? Moira? Zombie? We're going to do a little bit more Minecraft. Since we'll be playing Destiny tomorrow afternoon. And yeah, I said it. Afternoon. Hello, hello. So, I, uh, I made something fun. And uh, I'm in the process of getting it done a little bit more officially. Hey, Starlaxy. But uh, I thought you might appreciate this. Um, it's a little jank. I, I did my best. Super, super cheap. Super, super simple. And I'm actually in the process of working with Maddie to get something else made. But I figure that this would be like a cute little thing we could do to start. What do you think? Is it really dumb or is it fun? <laughs> be honest. <laughs> yeah. And you better be careful, all right? Because if you piss me off too much, I'm trying to keep good vibes in this uh, in this stream okay and if you get on my nerves too much i become angry melly okay angry melly and then all of you are in trouble so chill out <laughs> the weird thing about it is that it's not uh, facial capture it's sound capture which means if i open something like this <laughs> the mouth opens like uh like that mouth that sound came out of my mouth which can make for some really interesting things you can do like this very strange so i'm gonna try to limit that or talk over it so i have to open up something like my dinner i can open it while i'm talking and you'll be none the wiser was it the uh, the sound of the plastic that made my mouth open? Was it my uh, my voice? Who can say, really? The car backing up is technically me speaking. I'm an incredible voice actor. Haven't you heard my my impression of a truck before? <laughs> All right. 
I also have some friends. Um, I think I've got Rose with me tonight. Hello, Rose. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever that truck gets home, you'll get to hear my truck impression. <laughs> if it triggers the uh, the mouth movement. Mm. Hello, ready gamer anime. Did I miss anybody Ooh, while I was peeking out? Echoing. <laughs> no, I didn't. How is everybody tonight? I did not, in fact, do very much today, but I did have a very important uh, consultation that I had to jump on. So that's why we cut the stream short earlier. And I appreciate your understanding with that. I, uh, I'd actually hoped to do more Destiny this afternoon, but... A, uh, a director friend of mine wanted me to talk to them about some trans stuff for some trans characters and some stuff and they wanted to know why I thought about it. Hmm. Purple. I sense a recurring theme when it comes to you and, uh, and sleep or lack thereof. And I can relate to it. I, too, frequently belong to the what sleep camp. <laughs> but uh, do take care of yourself and make sure that you're looking out for your health. Hello, Ben. Hello, J-Spirit. So now as people trickle in, since I've already made the announcement. Ah! Nope. Bird already. <laughs> First bird of the night. We'll uh we'll slowly let people discover the new avatar as they go. <laughs> I'm very happy with how it came out. I uh, I got Maddie's blessing to to do a little tweak, but Maddie's actually making me something official, so it'll look even better in uh, in a week or so. So fun fact, last night, I can't demonstrate it, I already took it off. I put sliding on my boots last night and uh, they're horrible. Sliding is horrible because it only works with the shift button. No matter what you have your crouch button set to, you must hold shift to slide and there's no way to change it. So that mod is right out. However, you'll be very happy to know that I can now double jump. I have unlocked a double jump. I am now a trans, a fairy, a trans fairy icon, a trans fairy icon. <laughs> and by the way, Rose, we need to get you double jump. Yeah. With oh, as high I'm as you jump. Curious. I'm curious, yeah. If you're a uh, trans fairy icon, does that make me your trans cat girl sidekick? I'm here for it. And you can also <laughs> use it whenever you want, which means you can basically just eliminate fall damage. Like. So let's pretend I couldn't jump for a second. You can just, kind of like in World of Warcraft, just press it when you're close to the ground the way you would with like a warrior jump. And you basically never have to worry about fall damage. I'm gonna be on and off with moving around uh, because I have some food tonight. So we're gonna be chatting and I'll be intermittently playing and you'll occasionally be staring at me just standing there. I hope you don't mind. I got a big bowl of halal lamb over rice with pickled cabbage and cherry peppers and lettuce and tomato. 
It is divine. I am a sucker for some classic haul lamb over rice. Starlaxy, I, I kind of feel like my catalyst icon just sort of looks weirded out. Which I feel like is a funny vibe for this stream because I feel like I'm usually fairly low-key, fairly easygoing, relaxed. I get a little bit into my sultry voice and so to have this voice coming out of a character that looks perpetually irritated feels like a really fun mix to me. Ah yes, we call this crisis space. <laughs> Have you not seen my crisis face? is going through it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going back and forth on a couple expression a couple of expression options for the official one. I say official, it's probably more like a hold me over one because eventually I want to have something unique. But for the time being, I don't know if I should be perpetually weirded out or if I should go for something that looks a little bit more smug or a little bit more, you know, happy or sexy or sassy or whatever. <laughs> I'm kind of digging the, the crisis face though. We'll see what Maddie comes up with for the, the version two. Sure means a whole lot to me if what I'm doing here is giving you a way to relax that's great I'm really happy that I'm able to give that to you kind of gives me a way to relax too which is strange because I've often feared the idea of streaming regularly because games are usually my way of relaxing. And so being live while doing this was something that I worried would give me a lot of stress, but I think we're finding the formula that makes it feel good to me. Is it like way too distracting? I asked my friends this earlier and uh, I got different opinions from different people. Is it way too distracting to have all those lip movements? Should it just be an open mouth? <laughs> I'm curious what you guys think. I kind of like that she's talking, but I also feel like sometimes if I'm like just sort of vibing and speaking slowly, I feel like my avatar looks way more spastic and like, what would you call it? Like flinchy, flinchy? I feel like she's way more animated than I feel like I sound. <laughs> Are you on stream right now? Mm -hmm. So Rose and chat, if you ever want to see what an Enderman who's just like completely had enough with life looks like. They've just like let their chin come to rest on an island and they're just hanging out. <laughs> like 
I feel like this is the Enderman equivalent of putting your head on your desk. It's like, I'm just gonna rest my chin here and go to sleep. I don't really have any more any things to give for this day. Oh, so bad news. I came out here with a whole lot of no water. I am going to wish that I had more water than zero. Yeah. I feel like the texture pack and the shaders that I use make it look even more beautiful. Usually it's just black, but having that horizon really brings a lot to it, doesn't it? Yeah, I like like the purple like Aurora Borealis like type thing almost going through the whole skybox. ended my stream here last night, so I think I've already looted all of these. <laughs> I just wanted to double check. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, one is we were saying that was a badge of honor last night. The one downside is getting more powerful so you don't die before you run out of water anymore. <laughs> yeah, it feels like you're actually getting somewhere in the game when you start dying of hunger and, and uh, dehydration. <laughs> you in Minecraft in just a few minutes. I'm just wrapping up some Destiny things. Yeah, I thought about whether or not I wanted to go back into Destiny tonight or play in Minecraft, but I think I realized that there's not a whole lot of benefit to maximizing experience gain on day one, and so I'd rather do this with y'all. Tomorrow, however, um, just a little bit of, of business up front. Uh, tomorrow, I will be starting at least a day of Destiny a week. We'll sort of see how much content there is. But my plan is to play Destiny tomorrow afternoon. Um, and then we'll probably continue to do little things, whether it's Minecraft or Destiny, uh, every day this week. Friday, I have a session I'm very excited about. So I'll be in the recording studio mid-afternoon. So we may still have an evening stream. Um, I have to see how that works out. So stay tuned for Friday. And uh, Saturday, I dare say, um, we may not have a gaming stream. Saturday is the 10th, and that is my Streamily signing. Um, I am doing my first ever live signing on Saturday the 10th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or Pacific whatever we're in time. Okay, please don't, please don't, please don't. I'm trying to, I'm trying to plug. Back off for a second. <laughs> um, if you head over to streamly.com slash Grant, you can see the, oh. Hey, thanks, Zephins. I didn't know you were in here. Uh, you can um... see what I have available. Um, and if you want a signed print, I will sign it for you live. Hopefully it won't be a shit show. I've never done it before. I'm still <laughs> figuring out how to like move my keyboard out of the way and give myself enough space on my desk that I can actually sign this. I'm trying to figure out if I have any way of tilting the camera down so you can see me sign it or if you'll just have to take my word for it and then see it when I hold it up to the camera. Um, I'm figuring out the logistics. So there is a chance right. that my very first signing event may be a little scuffed, <laughs> but I'll do everything in my power not to uh, let that happen. But I think it'll be a lot of fun. And uh, whether or not you get a print from me, please show up and hang out with me because the more people in chat, the merrier, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Uh, and then that evening, I am actually hanging out with some of the other legends. So we probably won't have a stream Saturday night. Uh, although if that changes, I'll certainly let you know. 
I'm gonna abuse my mod powers by deleting your link. I think that's, you know, and banning you, possibly. For that is days. so rude. <laughs> I cannot believe you would ban me from my own channel. Hey, Pancake, what's going on? Thanks for hanging out. Uh, that is a crafting room. Gimme. Magma Walker, that's exciting. Versatility, Unbreaking 3. Hello, Zevins. Hello. Thanks for hanging out with me. Wow. Must be nice to fight Shulkers when you can fly. Oh yes, it is very, very nice. Life feels good. I'll take that advanced looting. I don't know how I'm gonna get. <sighs> They explode. Uh, I'm about to die from dehydration, so, and I have no way of getting back. So I feel like I've got my one rune. I remember the one I needed was green, although I feel like it's probably not the one I just got, because why would I get that lucky right off the bat? Um, but I'm gonna take a quick and easy, painful way out of the end. We'll check the rune. Hopefully it'll be the right one, because then we can go on and do other things. Don't do it! 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 Ow, 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 ow! And I'm gonna take a bite of my food. So just in case it glitches, it's this green one. Because sometimes when I put them in the reader, they just disappear. Helmet! Let's go! All right. Cool. Good. Good. Love it. Don't get me wrong. I love space. But I also like exploring the overworld because the overworld is where you get to run into all sorts of cool little in my basement in in where's the button in my wait why is that why is that bound to something hang on wait can you hold, just wait here for a second <laughs> gotta go into controls I cannot believe this, this is so embarrassing I need to go down to find lycanite mobs is it the bestiary index no is it what the hell is this menu coming up? Is this a tutorial? What the hell button is that? Hey, Jen, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by, gentle stranger. I'm having a great night. I hope you're having a great night too. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me. Wolf, what's going on? They absolutely invaded my whole life and I gotta figure out where this button is so I can get it the hell out of my life. <laughs> What does it look? Which button does it think it is? It's grave. Okay. Nope. Don't close. What is wrong with you? Nope. Which other one is set to grave? That toggle freeze effect. No thanks. Grave, 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 grave. All right. There we go. Let's see if they're still down there. Hey, friend. <coughs> As I was saying, in my basement. Hey, Gray, what's happening? Also, thank you for the follow. I used up all my books last night. I think I used up all of my experience as well. After I got off stream, I used all the rest of my experience to try and get some enchants on my gear. And I got a higher rank of Inner Berserk. And then I wasted basically all of my experience getting absolute garbage. So, RNG is treating me well. As you can imagine. A 
if you've uh, been lurking, you know what this is. But if you haven't been here before, I'm playing RL Craft uh, using the Chroma Hills uh, mod pack, which I'm quite fond of. And I am playing as a fairy, which makes me about the size of a slab. And I'm also made of paper, although my armor is quite good at this point. So I'm a bit tankier than if you were here last week. I'm gonna take a quick bite of my food. I hope you'll let me. About to hop on Apex. Ah, very nice. I wish you all the best. Hmm. You like my voice, well thank you. I appreciate you saying that. The uh, the rune reader is bugging, so I need to relog so I can quickly actually see the recipe. We've had some people turn me up and I, I give the content warning now. I tend to stay in a very chill zone on my streams, but then occasionally something will jump scare me and I will scream, so be forewarned. I feel like you're less likely to run into impromptu screaming in an actual dedicated ASMR channel. Ah. I need a fermented spider eye, which needs a spider eye, a bowl. What else do we need? Sugar? I think we need sugar. And uh, what's the last ingredient? A brown mushroom? Yeah, we need a brown mushroom. I have actually been gathering fermented spider eyes and like an idiot throwing them all out. Where would we find mushrooms? Probably on the Mushroom Island. <laughs> I bet we can find them over there. Let's head that way. RL Craft is a whole lot of fun, Ben. It is just obscenely hard, but it is super fun. And you know what's crazy? You all haven't seen the craziest part of it yet. There is one area we have not entered yet and I'm saving for later. It's absolutely wild. Also, I um, I thank you for your compliment, but also I should say wel welcome, apt bam. Thanks for hanging out with me. myself I want to see the recipe oh, okay and I need a chunk of the soil here too it's a good thing I have a silk touch pick hey euphoria thanks for joining me I am so glad that you made it So I've noticed because of my double jump, it's a little harder sometimes to get in the air. It gets a little confused as to whether I'm double jumping or trying to fly. All right, bowl, fermented spider eye. And mycelium on the bottom. We need a helmet. And it probably needs to be a complete helmet, so we need a brand new one. A note block, a purper pillar. Oh no. Diamond pet armor, I think we have somewhere. No problem, Wolf. Thanks for stopping by to say hello. 
Have I done any acting on film or stage? Um, I went to school for stage and screen acting. I have not done any work professionally, though. But if you were to take a snapshot of my childhood, I was on stage all the time. It's just been quite some time since I've done it. Uh, I got my BFA from NYU in New York City. Did I have a good time there? Not that you asked. Uh, I had a mediocre time there. I cannot say it was the best experience that I had, but um, that's for a, a number of different reasons. I don't think I got the best acting training that I could have. And there are a couple reasons for that. They sort you into different studios, like they're, you know, Hogwarts houses or whatever. And uh, I think the one I landed in didn't really get me very much. Um, but I did learn a lot of really good stuff at NYU. Probably the most valuable thing I got out of being in the city and going to college there was being self-sufficient because you were living in the city. You know, you weren't on a campus somewhere. Oh yeah, I love my city. College was the first time that I, I kind of was just on my own, completely self-sufficient. And I think that was a really good education. Just learning to be, I mean, it, is, it feels silly to say, but like just learning to be an adult, you know, a little earlier. I need the cat disc. I feel like the problem that a lot of acting schools run into is that they don't really tell you what to do next. And looking back, I understand that everyone's career is different, but I remember not being far from the only person who graduated from NYU and was like, I don't even know how to start my career. I just spent four years learning about the craft of acting and theater and stagecraft and design and, and taking voice and speech classes and... <clears throat> design classes, learning about color, contrast, composition, and like, they never had a class of like, how to actually go about the business of creating an acting career. And that's really funny to me. making sure I didn't miss anybody. Hey, Foxfire Lotus, thanks for stopping by. College in the city accelerated your transition. For me, I think it was living alone, uh, which was years later, but when I finally ended up in my own place alone, it gave me sort of the safe space to figure myself out. Um, and I know that that was the case thanks to COVID for a lot of people. <laughs> um, for me, it was having my own apartment where like for the first time I didn't have housemates I had to worry about. And I was just like alone with my thoughts every day.
sorry, one second. My friend Emmy is linking me pieces of artwork. <laughs> Yeah, I would say that, that living alone can be very hit or miss when it comes to mental health. Did I need a per per pillar or a per per block? Don't move me around. It's moving me around with its force push. Start, start. Thank you. Let's just take one of each to be safe. What a mess. Yeah, give very little info on that, but it's such a personal journey. Yeah, I... You know, the interesting thing that I also ran into when I was in college was I went to college and then I took 10 years. Not to make myself sound too old, but I took 10 years and went and worked in a completely different career before I went into the arts. And as a result of that, I also feel like the information I had was very outdated. Um, a lot of creating your career now is sort of like, I hate how that bugs. I don't wanna say guerrilla marketing, but like, social media is really important and, and Learning how to build a following and create a community is really important. And in a weird backwards way for some people, it starts with, for lack of a better way of putting it, it like starts with getting popular somewhere else. And then you can like, you know, like it almost starts with building a career and some measure of, of notoriety anywhere you can and then sort of seeing how you can bleed those communities together. Like I streamed a little bit before I uh, announced for Apex and like, you know, six people would show up and now I stream and like 40 people show up. And there have been a number of other voice actors that come to Twitch and sort of bring their audiences with them. But it works the other way too. You have people who build really, uh, successful streaming platform, not streaming platforms, but like YouTube channels and stuff like that. And then they bring that into acting and start booking because there's some kind of known quantity in the acting, uh, in the, the, the entertainment. Right? Thank you. Yeah. Brain is not working <laughs> in the entertainment world, you know, and, and that's fascinating to me. Uh, it, it all sort of blends together. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. Couldn't tell ya. Uh, well, this should be working, but it's not. Did I do something wrong? Mycelium, bowl, fermented spider eye, diamond pet armor, diamond helmet, note block. Oh, that's an ink sack, not a bowl. They look the same. And just so we're clear, I suck at that stuff. Oh, my point in sharing that was when I went to school, it was very much more of a traditional, like it, there was more of an, a, a traditional approach was like the best you could hear from people in terms of how to build a career of like, you go to school, you study the craft, you get out of college, you get an agent just by being a good actor and proving yourself to an agent. That agent gets you work, and that's the end of the story. And now, you know, there's just a bajillion different ways to start to build a platform. It's, it feels almost like it's less about... For some people, I'm sure it still is a bit more of a, a traditional acting career path, but for a lot of people, it's more about building a platform somehow than it is about, like, being an actor. Period, if that makes any sense. And I mean, yeah, the truth is that there's a, at a certain point, like if Toaster, for instance, uh, ended up with a large enough platform, there are probably ways that, that they could transition that, no pun intended, into 
uh, an acting career. I mean, there was an anime recently that a uh, corpse husband was in. Did I miss anybody? Alright, helmet. I need... Respiration and Aqua Affinity. And obviously advanced protection and unbreaking. So we need advanced protection, unbreaking, respiration, aqua affinity. Advanced protection. Unbreaking. It's like my collection I've been putting together. Respiration. Is that you walking by me? What were those footsteps I just heard? Me. <laughs> I'm so scared now. Aqua Affinity. And Advanced Mending, obviously. Unbreaking, Respiration, Aqua Affinity, Advanced Mending. I think that's everything. The only problem is we do not have a lot of experience. Somewhat related, but I'm at a point in my career where I just don't really know what I want to do. Well, what is your career then? You mean at a point in your life? I went to college with a lot of people that had no idea what they wanted to do. They went into general ed, didn't have a major, and they figured they'd figure it out as they went along. Sometimes you need to just try stuff. I worked in tech for 10 years, and I was really happy for five, and then really miserable for five. diamond helmet downstairs and then we need to go find ourselves some experience so I can finish enchanting my helmet. To be clear, you landing the Apex roll didn't have anything to do with social media presence, right? No, not at all. Not at all. This sounds cocky to say, but I think I landed the Apex roll because I was the best person for the roll apparently. Um, but no, I, uh, I had a little bit of a social media presence, but I mean, before I announced Apex, I think I had maybe 2,500 followers on Twitter, and that was 2,500 followers that I built over the course of, like, five years. Um, when the original auditions went out, they actually said, uh, it said two things, because it's not their... Uh, you're sort of in a tough place when you're casting a role representatively because it's discrimination to say, like, you know, it must be, like, it, it's discrimination to force you to prove, like, your marginalized status, for instance, to be eligible for a job. So they can't say that you must prove that you're trans to audition for the role. Um, they do say that they are hoping for a trans woman to play the role of, at the time it was codenamed Sorceress. 
And um, it said that you don't need to have a social media presence. You don't need to engage with the fan base. You don't need to help with marketing. You don't need to create a Twitter account or a social media presence, but the game has an immense following. And, and I don't remember how they specifically phrased it, but they kind of basically implied like, you don't need to out yourself, you don't need to be on social media, but you should know that by booking this role, you are going to be very, very out. <laughs> um, which also kind of comes hand in hand with like, if you're lying to us, then just know like, it's going to be implicit that you're out and that you're a trans woman. Even if it, you know, even if we can't, you know, even if it's it's not something that they can like force you to do or that, you know, so, so meaning like, even if I didn't have a Twitter account and I didn't have a Facebook account and I wasn't on social media at all, like that's not gonna stop uh, news outlets about writing, from writing about me or YouTube channels from making videos about me. And like for all intents and purposes, the world is going to know that you're out whether or not you engage with the world. Um, so that was kind of the thing that they braced you for. If you audition, just know what you're getting yourself into. One of the things, they said you'd have a leg up if you were a, a predator in ranked, right? I don't, I don't, yes. Somehow, I don't know how I managed to land the role despite not being, <laughs> and not having a high elo. <laughs> It's really funny. That stuff can always be daunting. Things I've done that has helped to try hobbies. Yeah, I mean, I hope it doesn't sound silly for me to say this, um, Bugs of Wrath, but I think a good place to start is like, what interests you? And, and that can be as specific or as vague as you want, you know? Like for me, I loved acting. I love storytelling. I thought I wanted to be on stage. Then I thought I wanted to be uh, in front of the camera. So I went through a very long phase in my life where I, I thought I was gonna be a television or a movie actor. And then by doing it, I realized it wasn't as fun as I thought it would be. And, uh, Eventually, I decided that maybe I should try voiceover because I, I started to interface with uh, some voice actors who are now mentors of mine, and I don't know, they made it sound really fun. <laughs> and so I gave it a shot and I fell in love with it. And now I, I'm diehard voice acting. Um, but before that, I mean, I always wanted to be an actor, but like I've had phases where I thought I wanted to work in tech and I, I wasn't sure if that meant turning screws or doing programming of some sort. And I, I ended up sort of landing on the hardware repair side of computers because I tried it and I liked it. Or sometimes, you know, you get an idea that you might like it and then you try it and you either like it or you don't. And if you don't like it, you know, don't sweat it, move on, try something else. Um, not to make it all about me, despite this being a stream, but, um, <laughs> I write when I'm not acting, I write for anime. Um, many of you already know this about me, but uh, so I've written a lot of, of anime uh, dubs over the past year and a half. Um, one of my most infamous was I wrote the dub for uh, Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro on Crunchyroll. And I love it and I'm good at it. And honestly, before I booked Apex, it was making me a lot more money than acting was because it's a consistent job. And I loved it because I still got to work creatively. So I was still able to exercise my creativity as an artist. Even if I wasn't behind the microphone, I was still playing a part in the production process. And I still like it. Kind of like this too. And I haven't ever given streaming enough of a chance to see if it's something that could become you know, a money-making endeavor for me, for instance. Um, so I'm taking a couple of months off of writing and I'm trying this just to see what happens. And that kind of comes in two flavors, you know, to see if I'm good at it, see if people like watching me, see if I enjoy it, see if it stresses me out. 
and then provided that I can do it and I like doing it and people seem to want to watch me and it seems like the channel has the potential to grow a little bit, then I can start to think about like, is this something that could actually, you know, pay my bills and what would be required to do that? It's So I, I've given myself the space to explore and see if this is a world that I could live in, knowing that I can go back and do writing if I want to do writing. But, you know, I won't know if I can do this unless I try it. Pretty sure half the cast doesn't even touch the game. Um, were I more excited or anxious or equal? I think I I screamed when I got the role. It, it's I've never wanted a role as much as I've wanted Catalyst. And so it was just a dream come true to find out that I booked it. And, you know, over the course of the next six months or however long we were recording it, uh, there definitely was a decent amount of fear <laughs> that happened too. Would they like me? Would the character be written well? You know, would it be good representation of, of trans-ness in video games? Um, would people like me? Would they like the fact that the character is a little older? You know, that she's 30 and not 18. Uh, would they like that the character is trans in general in the player base? Or would people be upset about that? You know, would the internet come for me? Would I get doxxed? Would there be a hate campaign? Like, who the hell knows what was going to happen? And so there was definitely a lot of, of anxiety. And the night before we announced on the 16th, we, we announced Monday the 17th, and that night I didn't sleep a minute. I was just in bed rolling around, sick to my stomach all night. <laughs> I'm so glad it went well. that with one hand because I was in the middle of closing my drink. Hey, Exosonar. Thanks for stopping by. Despite not playing Apex for a while now, I've been considering getting back into it after finding out about Catalyst. Instantly fell in love with the character as a trans woman myself. Hell yeah. Still not out yet. IRL. When it's time. When it feels right. When you feel safe to do it. Um, and if you decide ultimately that that's, you know, it, it, don't take this the wrong way, but like if you decide that that's what you want, you know, if, if there's any part of you that's still questioning, um, every journey is different and, uh, and, I, and I wish you all the best in it. As well as an aspiring VA, thanks for your gift to the world. I highly recommend, um, and if you stick around long enough, we can talk about it more. Um, but if you really start making moves trying to make the VA thing happen. Uh, I highly recommend you look up Queer Vox. And this is something I would only recommend to somebody who is very serious about creating a career in voiceover for themselves. Even if they are just beginning, if the intention is there, Queer Vox, V-O-X, uh, is a really great resource for queer talent trying to find their way in the arts. Uh, there are a lot of... Hmm? I'm just seconding. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of pay-what-you-can classes and opportunities to learn. It's a great community. There's a, It's a place to meet other actors who are queer and, you know, just talk to other people like us and feel a little bit less alone in the world. That's uh, Q-U-E-E-R-V-O-X. This is not a plug. It's kind of a plug, but I'm not sponsored. I just, I, I believe in their mission a lot. And I think what JP Karliak is doing with them is really awesome. Um, can confirm that we do, in fact, like you and Callus. Well, that's such a relief. <laughs> You're going to notice as I stream, when I start chatting, I just start running around in circles. Also, I think I'm lost. How the hell do I get out of here? Dude. I feel like it was around here. Maybe it's up ahead. Is it this area? Maybe it's over here. 
Hello? Oh my god, I feel like I was just here. I just dug this, didn't I? Ah. Okay, we're just gonna go out the top. We're gonna go out the top, we're gonna replace it. I hope. I should go out with the silk touch, just so I can actually put the mycelium back. Mycelium back, no one will ever know. It's like we were never here. That's something that's been nice. I've been feeling safe enough these past few years to really explore my identity. Hell yeah. Oh, you already follow Queer Vox. Hell yeah. Nice. Good, good, good. Very good people. Um Yeah, it was uh, it was founded by uh, some very close friends of mine, JP Carliac and Sarah Al Malay. Um, they're both queer themselves, although not trans. Um, but there are some awesome trans people that uh, are part of it as well. Um, uh, my housemate, Kaylee McKee, is on the board, as well as my dear friend, uh, Anjali Kunapanini, who plays Margot. Um, I frequently consult, and I'm part of the community. And uh, there are other cool people involved. Erica Ishii is on the board. And, uh, and is frequently a part of events. I feel like I've probably already cleared this. Oh yeah, it's, it's blasted into oblivion. I need to find somewhere to get experience. How is it that I'm constantly finding my way into these street fights and then the one time I actually need experience, I can't find anything? <laughs> I'm also multitasking because I'm eating. And if you haven't yet, you should. And if you don't have water, you should go get water. I'm not your mom. <laughs> you know what? I wonder if we can actually finish it with 12. My intro voice line that was a Destiny reference, the, uh, this witch came from the moon. You're going to wish she didn't. I am so on the same page with you about that. I think that's so fun. I don't think I even realized that when I was recording it until people mentioned it afterwards. It just like, it completely glossed over. Oh, wait, oh, no, 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 no. We got experience, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, there we go. Enchanted and ready to rock. We can use one extra level to call this Golem Helmet. Is it Golem Helmet? Yeah. In case I ever lose it and need to make it again. to go fill up our water, don't we? <laughs> In bed now. Wait, was that the boat with the Walter White villager? Uh, what? Okay, we're going back there. Quickly purify my water so I don't get dehydrated. Walter White figure, you say? That was the, where was it? That was, that was this one, right? Let's go take a look. 
I think one of the more puzzling things while getting into any sort of professional career is maintaining some sort of privacy by performing under a pseudonym or stage name. Uh, would you consider it common or valid to do that? Um, I think it depends what level you're at. I think if you're working in the indie spaces, you start to run into a lot more people who have kind of like YouTube handles or Twitter handles as their name. So you'll find a lot of projects where like, you know, the voice actors are listed as like Daisy Girl 121 and, and Excommunicado Boy and you know, whatever. Um, in the professional world, people tend to use their names, uh, but it's not entirely unheard of. Obviously this is mixing the worlds a little bit, but I know that in the anime that Corpse Husband was in, I'm pretty sure they were just credited as Corpse Husband. Um, so I don't think it's mandatory that you use a name. Where was I? Was it that one up there? But uh, generally we we use our, our full names when we work professionally. And that can be a stage name. I mean, you know, they're just look at, um, I mean, so many actors take stage names even if they aren't looking for some kind of, of anonymity. The Screen Actors Guild, there we go. I don't know, you be the judge. The Screen Actors Guild uh, makes it so that only one person can have a name. You can't have duplicates. So a lot of people have had to take new names in order to work professionally because someone else already existed with their name. Um, I'm pretty sure that was the case with Matthew Mercer. Um, wasn't he Miller? He had a different last name, but he had to take a new last name because there was already someone with his name working professionally. And then, you know, I mean, you've got possibly more in the uh, in the music world, but you certainly have people that take up aliases. There are tons of musicians. Just think of your, like, Madonnas and Lady Gagas and and whatnot tend to have their sort of like stage identity rather than just like a name. Just think about like how many movies or shows you've seen where it's like, you know, starring and I don't know a lot of actor names, but like, Matthew McConaughey, Jennifer Lawrence, Ice Cube. So it happens. Absolutely happens. <laughs> I love that my, the bottle for my drink makes like a popping sound and my mouth opens. <laughs> Oh, was there another villager downstairs? No. Ah, okay. You know what? I'm going to teleport there. Bam. Off privileges. You were right. Look at you. Good memory. Yeah, that's exactly who you were thinking of, isn't it? I bet that's exactly who you were thinking of. <laughs> Good memory. I am very impressed. <laughs> Exosonar, that's hilarious. Melly, we need to cook. And I'm like, I am leaving. I, uh, I don't think I'm going to be helping you here. Walter White of the boat. Let's get a little spicy. I got a jalapeno right there on the top of this dinner. And I'm going to munch it right now. We're turning this into hot ones. <laughs> I 
Are you okay there, buddy? I'm worried about you, horsey. You're, uh, you're pretty high up in the air. Hey, Fenix, what's going on? Princess and Pong Kong. The hell is this? Did we go over there? Melly, I just finished taking a colloidal oatmeal bath, and all I could think of while relaxing was colloidal estradiol magical. <laughs> I'm a perfect concoction. I don't want me to say the hard one. That is the hardest line. I don't know why my mouth struggles with perfect concoction. Excuse me, bird. Thank you. Well, this is a fun little house. It's like a little hunting lodge. Can we not, buddies? Oh, I remember this. I think I was here the first day. Thank goodness we keep our fried eggs in this box over here in the bedroom. You mean you don't have a fried egg box in your bedroom? <laughs> don't look at me like that. Swiper, no swiping. What's going on? How's it going? Thanks for joining me. I am playing Minecraft badly while trying to also eat. I need to take care of myself. I'm a growing kiddo. I uh, planned on doing some spelunking with my friend Rail, but he is not around right now, so I am gonna be exploring a little bit now that I've got my helmet. I figure why not go hunting for cool little structures? You keep your fried egg box in the box in the bathroom. Okay. The bones and rotten flesh box is in the room next to my bed though. Or in in yeah. Yeah, I know that makes sense. I could I can understand wanting to keep your the bones and flesh box closer to you than the fried eggs. Do you ever have shower eggs? <laughs> you mean you haven't had shower eggs? Are there VO roles where you are required to do marketing? Yes, but not usually. Um, I think some sometimes there'll be little promo things. Like, I did promo for Catalyst uh, in the form of their behind-the-scenes thing, which is not the same as, like, doing commercials, but... Um, I remember for some game that Jonas Scott did, one of his big video game titles, he, uh, he did a whole, he did like a whole series of interviews where like he, as the actor in the game, was interviewing a bunch of the developers. Um, and it was a really cool concept. He's got great physical presence. Um, I don't know if that was required or not. Some indie titles will ask you to do stuff like that. And and that, you know, I say only do what you're comfortable with. You know, there are, there are a lot of indie titles that will ask you, look at this. There are indie titles that will ask you to like get in their Discord channel and to make sure you're tweeting about it. And oftentimes I think the, the advertisement kind of comes for free. Actors are, are often, unless they're super busy, they're really excited about the stuff they get to work on and they'll want to plug it, but you know, it's, it's, I, I don't think it's always in good taste to demand that you help market unless they're going to pay you extra for it. It's a very cool statue. Swear in the voice of Catalyst, but swear in my voice.
Sure. Swear in the voice of this little fairy. Little bit? This isn't really swearing, but I'd love to give Catalyst kind of like a Ryukoism and then have moments where she's just like, oh, what the hell? Imagine Mirage trolling her and just like more and more Mirage is popping up as he's like trying to do some sort of punchline and she's just like, Mirage, fucking why? <laughs> Oh yeah, no. I, I was not compensated for promoting Tome. I just love that game, and it means a whole lot to me. I'm gonna put this fire out with an op command, because I don't like forest fires. Ah! Oh, I found this the other day. I actually put a waypoint in it. I have a little forest abode. Look at how cute this is. As I keep running into branches. Seriously, what the hell? Um, but you go in and it's like a little modern house. I called it Woodland's Home. <laughs> and it's got a little modern, uh, it's got a little two, two twin beds in the bedroom. It's got a little banner over the, uh, over the beds. And then a fireplace. And it's got a place to put your armor, a bookshelf, and this beautiful little modern couch. Or you can sit and hang out, or you can float above it, apparently. Just always flying. I'm just pretending that I'm sitting. <laughs> Don't understand much English, but I love watching the stream. Oh, well, I appreciate you being here, Fenix. Thank you, Fenix. Park Ranger stomping out fires. Apex Heirloom should come with the opinion, the option to say fuck. <laughs> You just, you get like one fuck per game if you have the Apex. Uh, the, sorry, the, uh, the heirloom. Just like, this is, this is gonna become an adult stream very quickly. <laughs> Sorry, I think you read the name tag wrong. You thought it said witch, but it actually said. Uh, hello. Yo, check this out. This is very like Cambodian temple. What the heck are these supposed to be of? Are these Naga? This actually, they actually do look like Naga. Those are snake people. Huh. I don't think I've seen them yet. This is really cool. Look at it on the map too. Hey, Jarlin, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> this bitch came from the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I 
be right back. Anjali Bamani is the voice of Rampart. Rampart. Oh, she is such a sweetheart. I love her to death. She's been so supportive of me. I'm really, really grateful. I, uh, I feel like there must be a way in. And I don't know how to get in. Do we have to do something? Because this sure looks like an entrance, but I don't see a way to enter. I'm going to just lift this real quick to see if there is anything behind it. There is not. Okay. I was wondering if there was going to be some kind of redstone, but it's possible that there just isn't a way in. Maybe this is all there is. Yeah. I don't... It is interesting that there is a hole there. Let's check this. No. I'm just going to keep digging. Yeah, no, there is no redstone. So there's no secret way in. That's a little bit of a bummer. I'm going to take a quick sip of my drink. Oh. Manifesting a role for me in Overwatch, only if that's something you'd want. I would love to be in Overwatch. Let's get a really cool, badass lady in Overwatch. What kind of weapons? I want to be some kind of like melee DPS. I want them to get over their fear of balancing melee classes. Meaning I don't want like your doom fist that has a shotgun or your junker queen that has a shotgun. I want to play a character whose main attack is a melee weapon. Get like a good, uh, like Electra. Kind of like get a cool Electra vibe. Sort of like a, a ninja or something. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, my friend Zuffins, who's frequently in voice with me, uh, mained Mercy. I started the game playing, uh, Farah, and then I ended up playing Anna for a lot. I basically only played Anna, and, uh, finally I ended up falling in love with Brigitte. I really like melee classes, and Brigitte was about the closest as uh, the closest we got. So I put a lot of hours into Anna and Brigitte. Melly out here asking for Overwatch's fourth ninja. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what other what what are some alternatives? Maybe. I mean, like I'm gonna be honest. I really was convinced that the Junker Queen was gonna be a melee only class. When she debuted and had a shotgun as well, that kind of bums me out a little bit. I'm sure that from Blizzard's standpoint, they just see that as them balancing it and that balancing a melee only class is really hard, which is probably why they keep nerfing Brigitte. But I would love to see them rise to the occasion. I used to play Team Fortress 2 a lot. And when I played Team Fortress 2, I always played Demo Knight. This is gonna make kill me before I get it open. I need to stop pressing that one. That one keeps buzzing on me. Okay. And there was nothing in it at all. It was completely garbage. It was a complete horse shit diamond lock. They used a diamond lock to hide their blocks of wood and bandages.
Has anyone been in Overwatch 2 since it's come about? I, uh, I haven't been in there yet. I played a bunch of Overwatch, and then uh, I eventually fell off, and I haven't been back, despite Overwatch 2 launching. I know it, it's kind of the same game, but... In principle, I'm excited about the idea of them putting in more PvE content next year. Yeah, well, I mean, and that, that kind of makes, I think it makes balance. It makes balancing it challenging because, like, one of the reasons I disagreed a lot with them nerfing Brigitte's ability to stun and do damage, I would rather have them sort of nerfed her support or her tank a little bit more because the way I look at it is if you're playing a melee class, the whole point of a melee class is that you win if you catch up to somebody, you know? So you have to play smarter, you have to, to flank them, you have to sneak up on them. And so if you make a melee class, you need to make sure that if they catch someone and actually corner them in melee, they're always going, maybe not always going to win, but they're gonna have a significant advantage. And I think that makes balancing it really hard. You know, because inevitably you're going to have your, your Genjis who have ranged attacks and your soldiers and stuff. If enough pro-level players get snuck up on too often by the melee class, they're going to say it's unbalanced. But if you nerf it too much to try and balance it, suddenly, you know, if you don't have a ranged option and you still lose if you're in melee, well then what's the whole, you know, what's the point in even existing? <laughs> like, why would you have that character? What is that that I just flew by and didn't even notice? I play Overwatch 2 in the daily, so feel free to ask any questions. The next hero, Ramatra, comes out tomorrow. I heard that Ramatra is the leader of the Omnic, and oh, this is cool. From what I've seen, they're taking a really interesting approach, because I feel like from from everything that we've we've had in storytelling, They've really sort of fed us this just one definitive story where the Omnics are, s not the Omnics at large, but the, um, what do you call it? Not the Omnics, the, um, the what is that faction called? This is the Null Sector. That the Null Sector are like definitively evil. And so to introduce a Null Sector leader and frame them more as a revolutionary and a freedom fighter, I think is really interesting. It's uh, it's exactly the kind of fun, like, narrative undermining that I would expect from that company. Anyone else find it interesting that there are two games called TF2 that are beloved by the community, but died off due to hackers taking over the game when devs stopped supporting it? Team Fortress 2, what's the other one? Describing Doomfest on launch. Have to balance entire maps around those abilities as well. <laughs> I am back, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Null sector, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a really cool little town. There's not a whole lot going going on here, but I really like the aesthetic. The time to kill is way too high for me. I don't like how, fa how fast fights can reset with heals. You know, it's funny. I think that's probably what made me better at Overwatch because I feel like I just get put in the ground immediately in Apex. And so I often felt like it was easier for me to feel more useful in Overwatch than I do in Apex. So what you hate, I probably love. Titanfall 2, there you go. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. I didn't know that Titanfall 2 was wrecked by hackers. Taking a quick bite of my food. What was Titanfall 2 multiplayer like? So I just bit my lip. 
<laughs> and that hurt a lot. <laughs> that hurt a whole lot. My lip is now in pain. Ow, ow, ow. I'm going to be like way more likely to bite it again. <laughs> so this thing looks like a hotel. And I'm sure it's completely peaceful. <laughs> and only the uh, the most upstanding of citizens come to this hotel. Let's uh, let's take a look around. Who remembers when hackers took over the A over Apex during the Genesis event? Oh, DDoS attack? That is absolutely gross. People should just enjoy the game and play the game. Why someone would want to commit resources to try to just wreck it? Hate that. I hate that so much. Uh, hey, buddies. You all have the same face and it's terrifying to me. What is happening? They're all just running at me going, hmm, 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 hmm. Uh, two unbreaking three tomes? That is a hell of a haul. Yeah. <gasps> More enchanting books. Oh, so this is where the enchanting books are all at. Excuse me. Oh, no, 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 okay. When did this happen? Huh. I am loving. What's going on down there, buddies? Wait, they blew something up. There's no mob griefing. What did they do? <sighs> okay. So... That escalated really quickly. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? <laughs> I am living and dying on my lifesteal. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Don't need sharpness for. Do want aqua affinity. Do want this stuff. I love all the sound effects of them in the background going, hmm, 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 hmm. see what the problem is. I just wandered into their place of residence. 
I murdered a few of them. They, you know, completely unjustifiably decided to defend themselves and, and here we are. I didn't know they were gonna go so hard when I got here. These mobs are not difficult for my gear level, but my god are there a lot of them. I had the highest IQ idea for Minecraft some time ago. You should be able to assign colors to ender chests so you can make a farm in the nether or the end and get the items in your storage place. So you mean get some kind of setup where like you can color code chests that then sort of warp the items so you can pick them up. That could be really cool. Yeah, like maybe if you if you applied dye with the ender chest. Dark Melly activated. No. All of you look like these really angry Wilson Fisks. <laughs> They're just all charging at you going, I love my city, 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 I love my city. Oh, I love my city. Who are you? Do you love my city? I love my city. I am dying of dehydration. I love how often in those shows they say the phrase, this city. I wonder if there's like a super cut of like every this city. <laughs> city, this city, this city, this city, this city, this city. <laughs> okay, stop it. Stop it. They're like me. Oh, come on. Clipping through the floor is tacky. <laughs> okay, can I have a... No, go... I'm trying... Give me a break for a second. Guys. No, 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 no. I love my city. I love my city. I love my city. No, 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 no. There's deep lore happening right now. I want y'all to know. <laughs> there is just like deep, deep, deep cut lore. Also, why is my game in black and white? Huh. Oh, I'm starving to death. Wait, I thought you were immune to hunger with the poison stone. I should have been. Oh, unless hung okay. Unless hunger is when you eat bad food. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, app spam. It had to be done. <laughs> Where even was that? Was that over here? What the hell is that? What is that? It dawned on me. There was no warp stone there, but I bet there is one over there. So let's set a temporary waypoint there because we can, we can create a closer spawn point.
Oh, it's just being realistic. This is RL craft after all. The RL stands for real life. <laughs> if you bopped me with something, I would probably say glurp. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> oh, it's just, you know, your average run-of-the-mill turquoise box full of spiders. Another one. So if any of you have nightmares tonight that involve Vincent D'Onofrio, Sneaking up behind you and whispering, <laughs> I love this city. <laughs> You'll know who you have to thank for that. be a very like creepy ASMR version where Vincent D'Onofrio sneaks into your bedroom, finds you eyes closed in deep, deep REM sleep. And he sits down on the edge of your bed, brushes your hair out of your face. I can't do this. <laughs> Until his lips are so close to one of your ears that you can practically feel them, were you conscious? And in one ear, he whispers, I love this city. <laughs> and then he brushes your hair to, to the side, the other direction, and he leans over next to the other ear, and in the other ear, he whispers, I want sugar water. <laughs> and then you wet the bed and everybody ended up happy. <laughs> Real estate. That was incredibly hard to do with a straight face and it wasn't even that good. <laughs> It was, that was wildly difficult. Sugar, water. It's like, it's like anti-smut. <laughs> he leans, he whispers in your ear and he's like, Sugar, water. And from your subconscious state, you whisper, yes, Dad. <laughs> I got some dudes for you. <laughs> I like Madeline. This is too straight. <laughs> I think that comment wins. Yes, it's getting way too straight in here. <laughs> 
<laughs> you actually dressed up like him for Halloween one year. <laughs> I, uh, I love it. I, I did not, I do not consider myself someone who does a good impression of Vincent D'Onofrio, which I like to think makes it more charming. <laughs> but, uh, but the rest of you might think it just makes it bad. And the real question is, why not? I'll get 4K. That's even possible. Where the googly eyes go? What is that? <laughs> Your head is so cursed. Oh, I don't think so. Uh. No, I think there's a number of celebrity. Im there's there's at least one or two celebrity impressions that I'm very bad at. If you watch me play Destiny long enough, you'll uh, you'll hear just a myriad of bad Tess Eververse impressions. What is happening? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Hey, Candy. Thanks so much for stopping by. You joined at such a strange time. <laughs> we are making the weirdest jokes right now, but I'm so glad you're here. Okay, I hate that. That needs to stop screaming at me. Yesterday. Oh god, I encountered one of those things on like day two, and I just couldn't get around it. <laughs> The scream, the scream, the scream, the scream. I'm gonna rem I'm gonna forget most of the lines. What is her? She got um No word from Fenchurch. He must have found something interesting. Or it's easy math, Guardian. You have the silver, Eververse has the goods. She said she wanted to express herself, so I gave her a thumbs up. We need some water. In the desert. Oh, there's a pond. Uh, Fight like five or six things, kill them all, and then get shot in the head and one shot by a skeleton. Oh. A regular skeleton. That's gnarly. <laughs> what is uh, Omni Ghoul's scream? Why is that slipping my mind? What is Omni Ghoul? Omni Ghoul Will of Crota? Oh, the Taken Wizard? No, I haven't done anything like that. I'm not, I do not do a lot of creatures. I can do. I've done a little bit of zombie work, like zombie type creatures, but like, I've never been someone who's been particularly interested in doing creature and monster work, because it just seems so, so hard on your voice. Even if you know how to support yourself and take care of it, it just seems like very vocally stressful work. And I feel like 
something would get lost if every night I came on and I streamed and I was just all in source like this from doing creature voices all day. In my stream, my name is Valley Grant. I voice Catalyst sometimes. Should you eat the last? Is it the very last, like the last burrito? On the planet? <laughs> I like that premise of just like, would you like to scream at the top of your lungs for me? Would you find that fun? I would find that fun. <laughs> there is actually something I need from the desert and it is forbidden fruit. It's a little rainbow apple that drop from the zombies out here sometimes. I need to ask them at some point if Streamily stands for stream, I love you. <laughs> ah, Uberleet Ben, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful night, and remember. I love this city. <laughs> We're doing the weird stream tonight. <laughs> Whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you weirder. <laughs> you know what? I've got a whole bunch of rotten flesh. And right about now, as the screen turns black and white, it sounds awfully tasty. <laughs> Man, I don't know what's going on with uh, with streamers these days. It's getting really weird. Mm -hmm. I was on Vox Akuma's stream, and he was doing like this really sexy interrogation. But then I turned on Millie Grant's stream, and she was just doing like weird growly Vincent Donofrio <laughs> impressions the whole night. <laughs> like, not what I was expecting from an ASMR stream. <laughs> Should someone tell her that that when we said ASMR, we weren't asking for like weird growls and we actually wanted, uh, <laughs> we actually wanted Catalyst. There's a, uh, there's a, I think they've done a couple of them, but there were a couple of um, sketches on Saturday Night Live with, um, oh, what's her name? Uh, Melissa Villasenor, where like, She's in bed with a guy and they want to, you know, talk dirty and have like some fun, like, you know, bedroom fun role play. And like every time she tries to role play, it's just very weird. So, you know, he wants to do the, the typical sort of cliche, like, why don't you be the cop? And I'll be like the bad boy that was speeding down the highway. Or like, why don't you be the teacher? And I'm just a delinquent who failed another test and needs to be spent. And like every time she goes in and does it, she'll like, she comes in and she like puts on a Mr. Rogers voice or like, <laughs> or she'll do like a Bill Cosby impression as like her sexy voice. <laughs> it's a very fun sketch. Also, uh, welcome to the conversation, Rail. Hey, Rail, Sorry. what's going on? <laughs> And hey, if you're out there like, mm, mm, that Mr. Rogers, like, look, no judgment here. <laughs> hey, listen, don't you gatekeep my, my gayness. <laughs> I need to set the record straight just so that we're all on the same page. I am bi. <laughs> I am frequently very gay, but I am in fact bi. <laughs> Uh, can't tell you. We couldn't tell you what Catalyst is. We haven't. Uh, we haven't talked about it yet. 
I will not tolerate the gatekeeping of my gayness. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we were doing really, really sexy Vincent Donofrio role-playing. Well, I see. Yeah, I figured it would be right up your alley. Just normal stream things, right? Just normal stream things. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. Don't you like my little catalyst? That was made for me by uh, Maddie of M M Mayan, Mian, I believe it's underscore M I Y A N N on Twitter. And uh, it's just a little bit of a prototype. I used it for something else recently. And we're going to be doing a 2.0 pretty soon. So we'll have like. A little bit more movement. Not a whole lot, but we'll have like a, a second pose where maybe the hands move a little bit or something. Uh, I am not a vegetarian. I am in fact, as we speak, a consuming lamb. But if you are a vegetarian, I think that's awesome. Ah, uh, not that Maddie. Different Maddie. Different Maddie. <laughs> Also, I just noticed this as I'm leaving it. Look at this building. This is kind of cool. Huh. Sweet. I love all the little structures you can find. Uh, okay. Uh, nope. We are not sticking around for whatever the hell that is. Sounds good. So I work at McDonald's and we have a promotional item. You should try it. It's the McRib. Did you ask me that just so you could market McDonald's food to me? Is that <laughs> is that how this is going down? <laughs> that would be a stream first. I, uh, I am shocked. <laughs> Everyone says you're gross for having McRib. Why does everyone what? Uh, do you all see what I see? Huh. The Parthenon? <laughs> <laughs> it was the smoothest transition in chat history. <laughs> yeah. Are you a vegetarian? Let me tell you about McDonald's. <clears throat> Why does everyone think you're gross for eating it? For eating your own place's food? I mean, is it just because, is that stigma against McDonald's? Because, like, I try not to eat fast food too often, but, like, come on. I get McDonald's. I got nothing against McDonald's. I try not to, but I still, I still grab McDonald's once in a while. And their neighbor, Steve. I built a really big temple too, you guys. <laughs> this is basically what it looks like. I just want to, I just want to make it known. In the realm of Minecraft servers, <laughs> this is what Rose builds. <laughs> that is what I build. <laughs> Just so we're clear on my complete ineptitude when it comes to Minecraft building. That big port city, I found that shit. And I occupied it. I did not build that. Hello.
So I have been leveling up over the past week, week and a half. And I am very powerful right now. And I've been avoiding dragons, but they don't one-shot me anymore, and I need red dragon scales. And I am a fairy assassin. So what do y'all say we do a little assassination? I think with it sleeping, <laughs> it has a little bit of an animation where it has to wake up before it can take to the sky and attack. And I think if we open up fast, because I hit hard, I hit really hard now with this bow. I'm not lying. This is a very powerful weapon. If I open up hard and fast, I bet I can put it in the ground before it takes to the sky. Let's find out. Hold on, let me put on my black hoodie. Do it. I love this city. <laughs> Still disoriented. That is it. That was it. That was it. Three hits. <laughs> that is a very small dragon, though. That can't possibly be. That cannot, unless it's playing dead. That cannot possibly be a full strength dragon, right? This looks like a small dragon. Yeah, it's a small dragon. Yeah, one that's like a stage two. No, three. I think I would call that a very successful assassination. <laughs> Channeling my my inner Ezio auditory. My favorite joke from the uh, the Assassin's Creed series is when Ezio is introduced to coffee. He's like, it's something I've been working on, this cafe made from these coke, you know, the the these coffee beans. And he's like, have you ever considered like modifying it? Like maybe some cream or some sugar? And the guy is just like, what, why? Eh, I guess it's not for everybody. I am the baby dragon slayer your parents warned you about. <laughs> let's uh, let's get ourselves some scales. How do we get some scales? Gimme. 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 What? No, no, no. Go away, I'm skinning a dragon. <laughs> Some scales. How much do I have to right click? I think I need an empty hand. There we go. Fire dragon flesh and a fire dragon heart. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it! Dragon heart and let you make the team. And talk to Sean Connery. <laughs> oh, yeah, real. Did you see my punchy gloves? Oh, it was only what a stage three. It was a small dragon. I got a small dragon. I only got eight scales, which is oh, not a lot. I need. Oh, it's full armor, so I need. What is it, 24 for. 14, 22, 27. So I need 27 scales before I can make a full set. I'd have to find something with actual uh, health a punch to show you, Ralph, but they are like, they get super fast and decently hard. Oh, there's a bird. I don't know a thing about this Vincent guy you keep imitating, but sugar water is going to stick with me. <laughs> yeah. 
Men in Black is a classic. Joy Wheeler would like to have a word with you about this murder. Hey, it was my destiny. Uh-oh, listen. Oh, listen. Get inside. Swiper no swiping's boyfriend. You need to let Swiper no swiping eat their food. All right? It's non-negotiable. Everyone deserves a good meal. Let it go. Let it go. Let this one go. Just let him have a good meal. Also, I'm sorry, did I miss something? Why are we talking about fireplaces? What? 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 <laughs> it's funny. I need to look over onto my other screen and see the little catal catalyst smile go. What? 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 <laughs> what? Does he cook? I love cooking. <laughs> what? Parthenon, no! How do you say that? Catoo list? Catoo list. <laughs> I am Catoo list. This witch came from the moon. <laughs> You're going to wish she didn't. I am, uh... I'm gonna leave that one up to imagination, Swiper No Swiping. He can imagine he heard whatever makes him happy. <laughs> We uh, are gonna get out of here because I don't even see any chests. So, bye. Oh, I hear wings flapping. I don't like it. What is that? Oh, it's a, just a regular weather skeleton. Nothing behind the chair. It's very beautiful, but there's no loot. Why would one come in here just to fight mob traps? It's very beautiful, though. I'm gonna mark this on the map so we can come back later if we wanna repurpose this into something. Like, let's just zoom out for a second and appreciate this. This structure is wild. Look at that. My fairy is very tough. I have some very strong armor now. I am just appreciating this, that we just found this in the middle of nowhere. That's what I was feeling tonight. I prefer platters though. I'm still not strong enough to want to be one of dragon. I spy another village, and you know how I feel about waypoints. Did you want to go spelunking somewhere, Rao? Uh, we could clear out the rest of whatever that dungeon under the uh, mountain town. I'm not sure how much is left in there. Has it been going? Have you been holding up? Uh, it's kind of on and off. I survived a Gru fight. That felt like an achievement. <laughs> there is a very uh, angry couple of things 
at that waypoint right now if you zone in there. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I love waypoints. Let me adjust you a little bit. Someone help me, I'm dying. Hot sauce is good, but you have to pay the price later on. I love hot sauce and I love peppers. I've got a very high spice tolerance, but my stomach has been very, I should say I have a very high spice tolerance on my palate. But uh, in recent years, my stomach's gotten a lot more upset with me. So it doesn't always stop me, but I do try to avoid it now and again. Tonight, however, I've been, uh, I've been going through a lot of hot sauce. So, you know. Weird. Am I speaking soft enough that the mouth wasn't opening? Weird. Don't do that. Hold, please. Hold, You please. may just be seeing the delay. Maybe I'm seeing a delay. Yeah. Between you speaking and when you can see it on folding back to you on stream. Or are you looking right at OBS? I was looking right at OBS. Oh, well then, disregard. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> there so we're just you know we're learning to tweak it i speak very softly when i stream though so i'm probably not doing myself any favors well i hope i don't regret the hot sauce intake do 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 what are you wait no for real what are you what what are these <laughs> mansion some sort of some sort of structure a lot of these mansions wait these are all the same mansion why did it populate so many of them here Speak softly and carry an overpowered bow. Hell yeah. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that just looks like they did that dirty. I know exactly what that is and I've been looking for it. My favorite. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Can we not do this? So my favorite structure in the entire game, I think, spawned over here. But it looks like it glitch spawned in in just the stupidest way, if it's what I think it is. Oh, that is so ugly. I've been looking for one of these to be my home. Maybe if I sunk it into the ground? I wonder if I could do that. Or if I just have to delete it. This is my favorite structure. It's this little floating house. And somewhere over here is a bedroom. There we go. I don't think it's actually supposed to spill out there. Maybe it is? I don't know. But you've got a little master bedroom here. And then you've got this cute little area with these homages to all the different biomes, or at least a number of the different biomes. There's a downstairs area. There's like an enchanting table here. A downstairs area with more biome stuff. A little section for the nether. A 
place here where the demons live, apparently. Lava, water, and... You'll have to remove that lava if you want those guys to not spawn here. Check this out. So... There's actually another portal that's ready to light. I may have gone down the wrong way. Oh yeah, there's a ladder over here. But there's this whole nether portal area in this area that looks like it's already been terraformed to look like the nether. It's so cool. The only downside is that this particular one is so jank. Look at this. What the hell is this shit? Horrendous. Oof. I might have to mark this for demo later, we'll see. I'm gonna label this with a waypoint and call it oof. for finding waypoints today. <laughs> hey, Sasha. Hey, Cisco. More arc, arc. More arc, arc. Shall I, uh, what? I'm very worried about whatever this is. I'm worried that a port city spawned in the middle of the plains. I am right. What is this? Why is this here? Oh, jeez. Oh, God, it's horrible. Why would this happen? I regret finding this. Oh, that is disgusting. Look at that map generation. Whose idea was this? Hey, J Spirit, how's it going? <laughs> Swiper, that is a very complicated question with a very long answer, but uh, suffice to say, uh, it was never going to be any other way. had to, and I'm so glad I did, because I'm so happy. I'm not going to sit here and say it wasn't tough, but, you know, as far as I'm concerned, there, there wasn't, it wasn't a choice for me. Not I think for a long time, I felt like I didn't have, I didn't have the vocabulary, so I didn't, maybe didn't know what my options were. But, um, but ultimately, like, there, there really was only one, on, one choice in the end. Sorry, Rose. I was just saying, same. Like, there was no, like, there, it was happening. Or I wasn't staying around, basically. <laughs> keep that as vague as possible. I'm gonna call this a desert dungeon. 
Uh, and yeah, let's find another way. Let's find our way back to rail. Well, that is a very, very individual decision. And uh, I can't really guide you on that very much. It's, uh, everyone has to make the decision that's right for them when it comes to something like that. Hmm. I flew a little too far. There's got to be another town around here somewhere. These husks right here are the things that drop the apple I need. I think it's only like a 2% drop rate. Oh, I have no regrets whatsoever about the decisions that I made in, in my transition. I think that uh, I wouldn't change a thing. They were, you know, big decisions, obviously. Life-changing decisions. But, um... Ultimately, it's something that you have to look inward and decide, you know, what you need for yourself. Trust your instincts, but also, you know, take your time and make sure that it's the right decision. And if you have the ability, uh, if, if it's within your means or if you're fortunate enough to have health care that covers it, talk to a therapist, talk to someone who's licensed and has experience working with, uh, with trans patients. I uh, spent a lot of time talking to a therapist as I kind of figured things out and decided what I needed to do to, uh, to feel whole. And not everybody has the ability to do that, but if you do, it's something I would very much recommend. Therapists can be a little obnoxious to find someone that, that really fits you, and it can feel like dating sometimes, but if you, uh, if you find a good fit, it's... Oh, baby. That's a positive oh, baby. <laughs> I think I went through three therapists before I found the right one. I'm going to take a sip of my drink. Yeah, it's, you know, not everyone's going to give you what you need. And, and give you what you need doesn't, uh, doesn't necessarily mean telling you what you want to hear either for some people they need some people need, need more pushback than others some people need certain types of questioning or someone is going to listen in a certain way you know it's it's a vibe thing that might be different from you too but I did not need a therapist that was going to push me forward. Um, I did need a therapist that was going to listen and and maybe ask some very specific questions at moments when I needed to be asked those questions. But for me, a lot of it was figuring it out, it was just having a safe space that I could talk out loud and, you know, kind of unpack all those feelings in my brain. and. I kind of figured it out on my own, and, and the therapist uh, that I worked with held space and, you know, was just present and supportive. Someone else might need more than that. I am at a waystone. Remind me where you are. I'm at the main uh, Blue Haven right now. All right. So I'm Just back. Getting, uh, some flint converted or some gravel converted to flint. Maybe. Back in Blue Haven, baby. What 
can I use this dragon heart for? Uh, I think you can use it for the canteen or for the ring. With a skull and a heart. You yep. do need a skull. We have at least one. Oh god, with three pieces of diamond on him, back to a normal jump. There's a skull. Oh, I had one too from the... I already had one. Empty dragon canteen. Let's go. <laughs> no more charcoal required. Just auto purifies the water for you. It sure as hell does. Dragon magic, I guess. You know, drag that that charcoal infused dragon blood. <laughs> you know the stuff. Yeah, wearing three pieces of diamond has severely gimped my movement. Oof. I can't... My jump is like a normal jump. Listen, fire... Fire, uh... Firefox. Fox Fire Lotus, I am not uh, licensed to give you a professional opinion on anything, but I will say that in my experience, the better ther therapists that I've had uh, recognize that it's not their uh, it's not their duty to tell me how they feel about how I feel. Um, but some of the better therapists that I've encountered create a safe space to talk and, and they ask you questions and they help you find your way towards, you know, something that feels healthy. Um, if a therapist is telling you it's just a phase, they sound like they don't know what they're talking about. And that isn't to say that it might not be, you know, I it was definitely not a phase for me. I'm sure it could be a phase for somebody but it's, I don't, I don't feel, um, this is opinion, but I don't feel like it's a therapist's, I don't think it's a therapist's place to tell you what is and isn't a phase. That sounds like overstepping of their bounds. I do not like that. I dispute that. I refute that. I've got something for you, Rel. What's that? Where are you at? Hello. I mentioned this the other day. I repaired it for you, and I added a mending to it. Oh, nice. Dude. Yeah. Should hit pretty damn hard. We now have an album called Wet Hands and an album called Dry Hands. Huh. Mafty, what's going to on? The damp hands in between. Mafty with the emojis. Are you okay? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. I have not watched Spongebob. I know, shock, shock. I love Tom Kenny's work too, but I have not watched Spongebob. I'm sorry. <gasps> okay. I 
have not watched it. I know, I know. There's a whole lot that I've not watched. I, uh, I've always been more focused on the creation than the consumption, although I do, uh, there are things that I do watch. I do tend to find it's, it's very frequent that I am way, way, way behind the curve on watching things. I think I mentioned this in another stream, but everybody was, uh, Everyone was raving about Fooly Cooly, and it took me like another six years to get around to deciding to watch it. <laughs> I rebelled at first. I was like, it can't possibly be that good. If everyone likes it, then clearly I'll hate it. <laughs> and then eventually, years later, I got over it. All six episodes. It's not even like it would have been a big commitment to just watch it. Six or was it eight? I think it was like six episodes. And, uh... Sure enough, it was okay, I guess. <laughs> All right. Did you head back, Ralph? No, I just passed you on the stairs. I fixed it. I forgot I had I took off the balloon to put my Thalus claw on. So I had to like rearrange my baubles to figure out how to wear both. Oh, did you make a claw? Mm hmm How is it? Uh I haven't hit anything with enough health to see if the bleed actually does any damage yet. Or to see what kind of uh damage the bleed does. I seem to be having I can a problem. Punch super fast. Hmm? Uh oh. <laughs> That's only happening on your local screen, by the way. You look totally normal. Yeah, on mine too. In my You're game. Fine. I don't know how to change it. If you sit, uh, did you determine if you could sit on these weird blocks? No. Weird. I wonder if you could change your character position by sitting if it would fix it or let me try if a it's bench. just perma glitched on your local screen. I feel like I was able to sit. Oh, wait, did that work? I cannot sit on this bench. Is this bench not just steps and signs dressed up as a I swear there's a way to do it. I thought there was a way to do it. You just right click anywhere and you sit down? No, Simply. up here it's all is all not, but out here where all the half slabs are, like this pier, right clicking anywhere with an open hand causes me to sit. And the only way to, if I, it's, well, it's not sitting, it's mounting. And if I dismount, I sink through the floor. I can't do it. Weird half slabs. I wonder if it has to do with your size affecting your half slab interaction. I... I don't know. Well, I'm stuck in the floor now. Well, Swiper, I hope that your dog didn't eat chocolate, because that's not healthy for dogs, is it? Chocolate is a no-no for dogs, last I checked. That is correct. Have a good night, Milky. Just had an idea. You should play with Johnny Young. I want to play with Johnny Young. I'm waiting for Johnny Young to be around and available to play. I've told him more than once that I want to jump into games with him. I also want to play with Ben Prendergast. Again. What is going on down there? Well, I fell through the floor. And he couldn't get out. <laughs> but I couldn't get out because it went to a full block size. So now I'm just making my way. Do you have the slab that goes here? I sure do. Okay. I'm on a mission to, well, I'll probably die here from this random sea creature, but 
Maybe someday I can return the slab. <laughs> I understand. I was supposed to play with uh, with Chris Angerly the other day, but my internet was having problems and I couldn't get on. And by the time I got on, he had to go pick up his kids. So we have to have a rain check. All right, should we go check out the dungeon? <laughs> Return the slab or suffer my curse. I love it. Yeah, let's go. Where to? It is... Mjol... Marakmed. I do not have any ports except this one in the starting town. I do not have any ports, but that one and Mjol Marakmed. <laughs> Oh, hey, the, the uh, stuff you spawned. The angry things. Here. Oh, no, there's the boulder over there. You found us. How did you do that? Incredible. Magic. Incredible. <laughs> Here's the stone right here. Okay. I've chatted with Roger Craig Smith a little bit. I haven't played with him yet. He seems like a great guy. He's very fun. The whole cast is fun. Wow, your bow is strong. Um, how hard does yours hit? Um, I don't know. I hit that thing two times. Actually, maybe I was using the wrong bow. I have this other leather bow that I was using. I did it automatically. I may be strong, but you're in charge. This is going to be an adventure with friends. This thing. Into nope. a deep, dark dungeon. <laughs> Just gotta aim higher. I hope I didn't light something. I'm kind of scared to do it again, in case it lights the ground on fire over there. That seems pretty powerful. The dungeon is down here. There's just a ladder straight down. Uh, not yet. Although, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. And this might apply to a lot of characters. Uh, a lot of the actors you're talking about. I'm keeping my fingers crossed because I know in the past they've done holiday get-togethers, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we get to have one. Because I would love to meet everybody. I still feel like such a newbie. I'm the new kid on the block, and I just want to make friends. Here, I will make uh, this very easy for you and give you uh, an answer that encompasses okay. everything. The legends that I have met in person, <laughs> which is a much smaller list than the ones that I haven't, uh, are Erica Ishii, Valkyrie, and uh, Allegra Clark, Bloodhound, are the two that I've met, and all of them were wonderful. Erica and Allegra are both absolutely incredible people, and I love them both. I kind of went through this area. I'm not sure. This place is kind of oddly formed. It's very dark and very spooky. So this could be kind of a, a bust as far as additional mods, but I think it might go to the east up here. Oh, yeah. Allegra's done tons and tons of stuff. Allegra's in Genshin and Dragon Age and does tons of anime and... Can't see what's hitting me. A librarian crate. Don't mind if I do. It's full of paper. What utter garbage. There's an Enderman coming at you, I think. A spicy one. Maybe not. I think you're right down below me. Oh yeah, he's over there.
doesn't seem to be making eye contact with me. I'm kind of shocked. Doesn't this usually trigger them? Um, something weird may be going on because I'm wearing that crown. But oh, the spicy are they our ones, friends? They, they are to me, except not that spicy one. Not the spicy one. Okay. Yeah, it will definitely still try to kill me if I come down there. Yeah, I think Allegra's Discord is themed entirely around her Dragon Age character, isn't it? I feel like I remember it being named after her Dragon Age character. So I think there's more in this general direction. Oh yeah, I have faith that we'll all meet at some point. I'm, uh... I'm absolutely positive. We're all busy, we're all working. Oh yeah, here we go. And to be fair, I've been streaming a lot, but we uh, we all have different... Oh, what is this blue web? These what? weird uh, ice spiders shoot that web. Remember these? These dungeons are hell holes. We did a few of these before, didn't we? Yeah, I remember these. I'm not sure that the loot is actually any good. I don't remember. I don't know where to find the things that I need. I don't know if it's in these dungeons or in the other, in those other weird alien dungeons. swinging, by the way. A mining pick? No, diamond sword. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Thank... Oh no, I'm in a web. I'm out of the web. Sometimes. Sometimes you go in and you're just by yourself, but I went out and recorded, um, the day that I recorded the trailer for the release of Catalyst, I ran into, uh, I went into a studio and I ran into Yang Ye in the lobby of the studio, who is a YouTuber that, uh, is also an actor. A lot of studios are doing COVID protocol though, so they'll be very careful about who they schedule and when. So it's uh, it's probably a little harder to run into people than you used to. You still do, but um, I definitely haven't seen any packed studios. Uh, yeah, exactly, same young, yeah. Very, very nice. the lore is behind those monsters that kind of like erupt out of the bodies of the monsters you kill. Oh, bad times. I, I can't see between the darkness and the Enderman. I can't see anything. How do you get your dark vision rail? From being a dwarf? I don't, I don't have it. 
Oh, you're just fighting in the dark? Yep. You would think a dwarf would have it, but no. Uh-oh. Yeah, this bow you gave me is putting in work. has taught me anything, it's nearly impossible to coordinate the schedules of multiple adults. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Oh, I can't tell you the number of D&D campaigns I've had fall apart by, like, session two. Yeah. Rails had a game. Are you still in that campaign? No. There was a, a campaign going in my clan for a long time. And uh, I haven't had a long campaign since like high school. Every time I've tried to find a campaign, it's fallen to pieces within like a couple of sessions. Yeah, there is a there is a clan group uh, campaign. I'm not in it. But it is still going as far as I know. We all go through busy phases and, and light phases, so like, you know, I'm in a lighter phase now where I had a session last week, I have a session this week. Sometimes you have multiple sessions a week, sometimes you go weeks without sessions. But, um, because we all have schedules that, you know, we all have very different schedules. I feel like it's been so hard to try and coordinate even just getting together for coffee because it's always like, how about Monday? Oh, I have a session that day. Uh, and then I've got stuff afterwards. Oh, Tuesday, I'm already committed to blah, blah, blah. Wednesday, and then it's like, okay, we'll just try next week. Next week. Oh, I'm out of town. What about the week after that? Oh, I'm out of town. <laughs> it's like, it's it's impossible. When you do manage to actually bring people together, it's, it's just, it's a miracle. So that's why I'm crossing my fingers for that holiday party. I will keep that in mind. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Is there another way out of here? Well, I can't even find my way back to you guys. I guess that's... Is that the end? Do I see you? Oh, it can't possibly be the end. I don't see any other... Ah! Matt Mercer? I would love to play with Matt Mercer. I would love to meet Matt Mercer. He follows me on Twitter. <laughs> um, but we've not actually met in person ever. I hope we get to it at some point. I hear he runs a pretty good table. <laughs> We were back upstairs. How the hell did we get down here? The water over here, maybe? You can just jump anywhere. Rail is over this way. Did you do a branch mine, or is that something else? That grid off to the west, that's a branch mine, yeah. Okay. Let's check this area.
Moira, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you stopping by. I hope I get to see you again. that has been here on multiple streams. I'm uh, I'm curious how you're liking the afternoon streams versus the uh, you know afternoon versus the evening streams versus the late night streams. Right now, I basically have no schedule whatsoever, but I, I assume at some point I'll probably need to come up with some kind of a streaming schedule even if it's just kind of telling you that week what I plan to do and when. Ooh, a lot of fun stuff in- Get! Get away from me! A lot of fun stuff in here, Ral. Where did you go? I went back the way that we had started? I don't know. My next immediate need is night vision. I just came back. I, I died a second ago. So I just went back to the entrance I'm with Rose. I should stream late night tomorrow. I think tomorrow is probably going to be an afternoon stream, I'm afraid. Um, but we'll see how long we go. There is a chest in here that has uh, a beacon in it, as well as some apples and some other stuff. I've gone back and forth on the sleep thing. When I first got out here, I found that I was waking up naturally at like 8, 9 in the morning, and I was having a really hard time getting to sleep. Uh, or I should say, I was having a really hard time staying up. I was going to bed really early, and I'm, I don't know what it is. Evil Toaster likes to joke that it's, I've gotten on that streaming life, but I'm now back in this old, familiar late night habit where I'm going to bed at like 4 in the morning and waking up at noon. And it doesn't help that I feel like my career has been supporting that because in addition to making streaming hours the, ta the past, you know, week or two, uh, all of my sessions have been afternoon sessions. My session last week on Friday, was it? It was like a 4.30 session. And I have a session this Friday at, I think, 5.30. So, like the universe is telling me to stay up late. Oh, hey, we found you. Hey, welcome back. Apart from the crown, is there anything that negates, like, the screen blur from Enderman? Uh... Well, I oh, certainly don't have it. for them being near you? Just, yeah, just because they're near me, I've got, like, the... the fuzzy... like... Green tear. Green blur. Richland, hello. How are you? Thanks so much for stopping by. I'm glad you're here. I hope you're doing all right. We're having ourselves a fun little Minecraft stream. Because it's like, it's not only the dark, it's because of the Enderman being right beside me. I can't see anything. Peeking. I'm just peeking. I sleep at 7 a.m. or early. There's no in between. Yeah, that's. Well, and if I have sessions that wake me up early, the Apex ses sessions are usually early. So if I have weeks where I have Apex recordings, usually they need me in at like 9 in the morning. So I'm usually waking up at like 5 to 6 in the morning.
Is this part of it? <laughs> and what are the skeletons? Part of it. I don't quite like the demon under the ice. <laughs> You know, I've been figuring it out as I go along, Deutschland. I, um, right now I'm using a program called VideoTube Mini. Uh, V-E-A-D-O-T-U-B-E -E Mini. And I just have two images I've put in. But for a while I was using this thing called Fugi or Fuji Reactive, F-U-G-I. And it required that you be in a Discord channel, and so it just sort of picks up. So, like, if you see the symbols of uh, of Rose and Rail up on the top left of my screen, they have uh, they're essentially it's just picking up whoever's in my Discord. So, if you see if someone comes into my Discord channel, another symbol will appear next to them. There's a skeleton inside of you right now. Uh, I have not heard of Honk, or is this... I feel like I'm about to get... I feel like I'm about to get trolled. What is Honk? Do you mean Doot? You wouldn't happen to mean Doot, would you? Oh, is it? How would you compare it to what I'm using? Because I am, uh, I am open to suggestions. I'm, I'm just experimenting. Due to, due to you too. some lifesteal on those fists. Yeah. Those fist weapons are putting in work, though. I mean, they're doing damage. Uh, the bleed is helping, too. I'm noticing it tick. Oh. Uh, my next immediate need, though, is I need night vision. I cannot, for the life of me, see anything without having a torch in my hand. I just lost track of you. I, uh, I think I'm on your left. Okay. There's a tool belt in this box. Ah! Hey there, Brownbeard. Thanks so, <laughs> thank you so much for stopping by. How are you doing tonight? I appreciate you hanging out here. We're just having some fun, doing a little dungeon dive. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and break this. Huh. And this. Oh no, there are so many spawners. But explain why I got run over. <laughs> I was doing pretty well, and then all of a sudden it wasn't. Yeah, it's getting bad in here. My life steal is putting in a lot of work, but I am dehydrated and I am hungry. I'm cold and I'm tired and I want to go home. <laughs> I need a small break so I can actually drink from my canteen, please. Things keep me spawning at the top. I can't even find my way back to you. Oh, wait. I can jump up here, I think. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm hiding on the ceiling. <laughs> I'm just hiding. Everything is below me. Sveep, thank you so much for hanging out. I'll see you soon. What? Tambino, what are you doing here? We getting raided while I'm getting my ass handed to me by these zombies? Help, help. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. I will do it as soon as I can. You know what? All of you. Doot. Doot. Dudes for the raid. How are you, my dear? I hope you had a wonderful stream. Was it just as scandalous as the last one that I was a part of? I want to hear all of the sordid details. This is a nightmare. My life's a nightmare. They won't stop coming. The gun's not in a good way. <laughs> oh, help. Help me, please. I'm trying, but I can't get back to you. All right, that's it. You've all incurred the wrath of Flying Needle Art. Break, damn you, break! Wow, that was a lag spike. I had a great stream, but I smell, so I need to shower. Yeah, you do. Yeah, it is, uh, it's getting very bad in here. We've got a lot of monsters and a lot of items on the floor. It's kind of a mess. Help, 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 go away, go away. I, uh, I do. I am very new to it though. I'm doing the best I can and I'm learning every day. I have this funny little placeholder PNG tube model right now. <laughs> Just to give you all something to look at. And, uh, and every day I'm trying something new. I'm trying to learn, I'm asking questions. I'm relying on awesome people like Hambino to help, uh, guide me and give me advice, but I probably wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for everyone on Hambino's stream and Evil Toaster's stream telling me that they kind of liked the vibe and wanted more of it. So I just figured I would give it a shot. And, uh, and so far y'all haven't let me down. It's been very encouraging. Okay, I think I did it. I cannot tell you how irritating that was. But now we get to the good part. Looting chests and seeing all of the garbage loot that was not worth all of that effort. Excuse me! I do not have time for more monsters right now. Thank you, I'm sorry. I tried to get back to you. I could see you on my map, but I just, I couldn't get close enough. Well, it's a l I hate spiders. It's a lot uh, it's a lot easier now. I've cleared out most of the monsters. I've cleared out many of the monsters. Things are respawning on other floors. Ah, ah. All right. You'll have to forgive me if uh, if you're stopping by. I So I am, if you don't know who I am, Hambino probably gave you the primer, but I am Melly Grant. I'm a voice actor. Uh, I voice in video games and animation, including Catalyst and Apex Legends. And uh, I'm new to this streaming thing, so you'll have to forgive me while I am getting my ass handed to me in this dungeon. It's gonna be a little hard for me to look at chat, but I just wanted you to know I'm very happy you're here. And I appreciate you stopping by. as it goes grayscale because I'm incredibly dehydrated. I'm full up, but I need water. 
What's up? Bank your levels just in case. Uh, wish I could. Don't have any books, so. That's it's... a bummer. Yeah, I have. I have a full book and a half full book. I need to find me some water and fast because I am now out of water and I am facing the very real threat of dehydration. You'd think somewhere in all of this ice would be actual water, not just the frozen type. I'm just gonna break these. I cannot handle another Zerg. Nope, nope. Are we good, are we good? No, we've got one more. Oh, my lord. Ha! Ah. What are they doing? They're blowing things up. What are the explosions? Oh, you better stop it. Brownbeard, thank you so much for saying that. Excuse me, I'm trying to talk to Brownbeard. Love my Twitter and my enthusiasm in Apex. Well, thank you so much. That makes my night. I really, okay. I fell through a hole and now there's a Velociraptor. I, uh, I very much appreciate you saying that. I am trying to do this as much as possible. This is brand new and I'm figuring it out. Like I said, not to repeat myself, but um, I... I've kind of just been trying new things every day, and what I'm doing this month is I'm challenging myself just to see if I can do this. So I don't know if it's gonna be a permanent thing where I stream every day or if that's gonna very quickly become overwhelming, but for the time being, I am trying to do this as much as humanly possible. And many of you have heard me say this, but I think it comes from this place where I often find it's easier not to stream than to stream because streaming is work. Um, but I'm, high, I'm gonna see if I can flip that muscle and make it so my instinct is to stream. And if I can build that muscle over this, uh, this holiday break, then who knows where we'll go from here? Who knows? Stop it! Incidentally, uh, just a little housekeeping. We talked about this a bit earlier, but um, I'm gonna be streaming Destiny 2 tomorrow because I uh, wanna play the new season and see what it's all about. And I have a signing this Saturday uh, at 1 p.m. PST at streamily.com slash Uh I shouldn't say it's there, it's actually gonna be here, but whether or not you're the kind of person that wants to pick up a, uh, a signed print from me, you don't have to if you don't want to, but you're more than welcome to stop by and hang out with me. I very much appreciate it. If you do, we'll have a good time. I'll be on camera. I'll try to, hopefully my bedroom won't be too messy. Slag spike. Yugi. Uh, so I think the party has been separated. I see Rose on the map. I don't know that I see Rail. Oh, I do see Rail on the map. Oh, the party has been completely separated. Yeah, I, I cannot navigate this. You can see me on the map? I can. If I enlarge it, I can see you down oh, there. I, Rose I looks like she's found goes. her way to your, your mining grid. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. What the f And there she went. <gasps> That's a Gru. I know an invisible Gru when I see one. I'm not gonna let you side swipe me like that. Who do you think I am? They literally dropped on my head. <laughs> uh, you know what? I have a life leech for you that I think you might like, Rose. 
Yeah. I found a uh, something with vampirism too, which I think is the highest rank. So you can actually stack it. So you want life leech? No, you don't. You want life steal? Life steal two and vampirism two. And I have a book with vampirism two on you. Obviously, you'd need um you'd need two of each, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, I am going to re-up on my drink. Get another little super delicious calorie-free soda. Um, so I'm gonna leave you with my friends for a few moments. Don't get my stream shut down. I'll be back in, uh, in just a moment. <laughs> but hey, if, you, uh, if you've got a water by your side and it is empty, I her encourage you to refill it. Or if you want to take a minute or two to stretch your legs, I'll probably not even be five minutes. I'll just be like a minute or two. I'll see you in just a few, okay? Uh-oh, we're unsupervised. Yep. Anything you know that could happen? Doot. Do doot. Wild do doot party. Our stream now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the proletariat must seize the means of stream. All right. I think I want out of this dungeon. <laughs> it's rough. I, I can't make it further any further down there. Melly is a lot tougher setup than we are at this time. Yeah. Like, I can dish out some damage, but I cannot take hits right now. And I can't see. Maybe it's just my game settings. I can kind of still see even when it's mostly blacked out. Said no burn till the vodka goes away. <laughs> By the way, slowly make my way back to where Mel is. FYI. Uh, I just got my prints in today for Saturday, and they all look so good. Ooh. I forgot how big an 11 by 17 is. <laughs> Very large. Most of my prints are uh, are fairly small. Most of my prints are either 8 by 10 or 8.5 by 11, but I have two that are 11 by 17, and they are intense. I'm just going to take a quick bite of my food. Is a great size for... Uh something to hang on the wall for that kind of viewing distance. We save the 11, seven, 11 by 17 for all the sexiest pieces of uh, <laughs> catalyst art. I feel like as I've been streaming, like between last week and today, I feel like my streams have been getting sexier. <laughs> I have a chicken or the egg question for you, though. Is this because of my chat? Has my chat done this to me or am I Crusty bringing my chat down into the abyss. You know, a little column A, a little column B. Well, yeah, I'm going down here. I upset the guardians outside. Something else is attacking. I tried to hit it and I hit the guardians. And it's out of me. They are really unforgiving, huh? They don't have a good way to... Uh... <laughs> I feel like I've been watching a little bit too Al too much Alexandria lately, and, uh, and she's rubbing off on me. <laughs> With Alexandria, every stream is a sexy stream. Did she ever recover from your jokes? We streamed well, Apex with it. Alexandria and Toaster the other day. And I was stressed out of my mind. I don't know what was different, but I was not having a good time in there. <laughs> um, and we all talked about it afterwards in Toaster. 
has been really encouraging and, uh, and said, you know, if I can articulate what about it felt strange, like maybe they can offer some experience to help me kind of prep and, you know, be ready for the future. Um, but no, it was a good stream. I think, I think the energy was, uh, was unexpectedly strange. Like I was very bubbly and chatty and Lexi was really tired and Evil Toaster was like really hardcore gaming. And so there was a very strange energy mismatch. And, uh, and afterwards I, I messaged them independently and I was like, I am so sorry if I was weird. Was I like really depressed and, and out of it? And they were like, no, no, you were fine. I'm like, I was like, I feel, I felt like I was really depressed and out of it. And they're like, we promise you were fine. I'm sorry. But I want to get back in there with them again. I, uh, I love playing with them. Really good people. We currently have 69 people watching. Nice. Nice. Uh, and then someone left. They had to ruin it. Listen. <laughs> people got places to be. Not everyone's got time to watch one weird girl from Brooklyn play Minecraft. <laughs> I barely have time and I'm the one doing it. <laughs> so I, I found a mining tunnel, which I don't think is part of the dungeon. Ika sashimi. Thank you so much for, uh, for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And thank you for saying that. I, uh, I do my best. I think that Apex still stresses me out a fair bit, and I haven't quite found the balance. But um, I'm really interested in it. I love the characters. I, you know, I'm a little biased, but I love the characters, <laughs> and uh, and I want to be better at it. So it's something that I I'm resolved to to find enjoyment in and to get better at. How the hell do I get out of here? Playing worked for me. Garland, Soul of Chaos, thank you for stopping by. Fairy from Brooklyn, yes. I, okay. How the... Do you need more dragon scales, by the way? Red. I've got the red, I'm at the red dragon den. <clears throat> An underground dragon den? Mm -hmm. Of a red one. Really? I will see if I can find my way over to you. I think I see it on the map. I cannot make heads or tails of the map or see anybody. I feel like, what is your Y level right now? Uh, 14. No, that's wrong, 48. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me see if I can take creative path towards you. Oh, I remember where we are. I know where we are. I've been here before. Last time I lurked while you were playing Apex, you were honestly playing pretty good, so I think you don't have to be worried. Well, thank you. I do my best. And and I realize on some level that I'm being thrust into very high skill matches. Um, so it does stress me out a lot. Um... But if nothing else, I try to be honest with you guys here. You know, if I, if I feel a certain way, I, I'm usually comfortable talking about it. And, uh, and everyone was really encouraging last time we played. And I appreciate the support. 48, you say? How the hell? I see you over there. Yeah, I'm kind of just making my own path to get to you. There's a tunnel but I've sealed it off. I don't I don't have enough torches to keep a lot of the mine sections open. Um how and why did my bow disappear? Uh I can think of two possible answers. Either it broke or it didn't break. It was at full You were fighting a rare No I Hate those things. Or at, uh, you are fighting a rare mob that took it from you, and it might be on the ground after you kill it. Um, 
I'm looking around the ground now to see if I can find it. Because that was my mending bow. I've opened up a hole to uh, the tunnel that I think that you're in. I think I'm where you were. Oof, okay. Oh, yeah, it. you are. Here, I'll, I'll, I can come right back there. So you're going to go down the, the stairs there. Hello. Hey. So I kind of tried to make a path to get next to it, but it's in this... Room, oh yeah, this here. rock is very familiar. It may not be in here anymore because you know how mobs do, but there was a red dragon in here. Did you get there through the dungeon? I think Melly ended up cutting through part of a cave system that attaches to this. I dug my way through. I don't see a dragon, do you? I don't see a dragon. Well... Oh yeah, you have a much better. That's just matchmaking and duos trios. I can throw you with bronze players or predators in turn. In that terms, it's unfair. Okay. Hey, Lakings lover. Yo, did anyone hear that they're removing catalysts because of bad bugs? I hope they're not removing catalysts. I just got here. Don't do that to me. I promise I'll be a very good catalyst. I'll be everything you want from a catalyst if you let me stick around. I won't do anything, I'm told. I'll be very bad. <laughs> well, I guess that just leaves, I don't know what's in the chests and a whole bunch of gold. I'll tell you what's in the chest. It starts with the word G and ends with the word garbage. <laughs> Unfortunate. Well, I guess that means when we find a dragon, we have to address it. All right. <laughs> the word G. Yes, Melly G. Oh, it's one of these things. Oh, that might be like a drag dragon exit path. Yeah, how do we get you over there? Where are you right now? I'm making my way downtown. Okay, let's... Let's... Yeah, we can dig our way up from there. The whole floor is on fire in here. I'll probably be dead in a second with the amount of stuff that spawns in here. Oh, that's weird. They don't teleport when they're friendly to you. Uh, I found the dragon. Okay, well, that's good. Where's the dragon? In the village. Oh, that's not good. Oh, up outside. Mm -hmm. It's flying away from the village. I'm following it. I wonder if it will come back here. I feel like it probably isn't smart enough to come back here. Oh no, Rail. Well, you're gonna be above ground now, aren't you? I'm on the deck of the ship, in fact. I guess I'll fly up out of here and we'll see if we can find that dragon. I'm still following hey, it. Hey, thanks for the bits, by the way, Brutus. It's Ooh, look at that, that is wild looking. I think you might be right that dragons tear those holes. Well, we could Maybe go back to that one. frost one yeah. when you want. If we went back to that frost one, we could see if uh, if it's still there. Because that one didn't have an exit. Ooh, sorry about the lag spike. So I see a rail. I don't see a Found rose. It. 
Where's a rose? Uh, southeast of the village. South I'm watching the dragon land. Maybe? Maybe land? Is it trying to go to sleep? Rose has been turned into KFC by a dragon. Oh, I see it. Ooh, that's a big boy. Yeah. That is a big boy dragon. And it's red. I think it might be stuck. Where you at, Rao? I'll travel, uh, I'll travel low with you. We'll go by ground. Right on the edge of the river. Oh yeah, I see the dragon. Hey, Andra, welcome, welcome. How are ya? I appreciate you stopping by again. Are we gonna make an attempt on this guy? You can probably solo him, right? I say we all take a shot at it, see what happens. Rose is taking the first shot, it looks like. We got a big boy dragon over there. And Rose missed. Nice. No, that was me. Uh, I can't even shoot because my inventory's full and it won't put my glove away to let me pull an arrow out. What? And the dragon's gone. Rail, that arrow went three feet. Yeah, that was me cycling to my other <laughs> bow to try to not waste an arrow. It's what gone? Ah, uh, it's not gone. I'm gonna take a shot. Yep, something's hitting me. That landed. My arrows travel very fast. Yeah, my other bow has faster uh, arrows. That one land? Connecting though. I have found the range uh, enchant is very, very helpful. It's like I can probably still do a straight shot. I have lost track of where Not it rendering. and you guys are. Yeah, it disappeared. There it is. It is very hard to keep track of friends in this game. Mm -hmm. Do you have faces I, on the okay. minimap at the very least? On the minimap, yes. The regular map, no. So if I get too far away, I cannot find you. Ah, I find that uh, it doesn't it do a perfect job, but having the enlarge button down at least can give you a little bit more map. I Once love I that last part. I you are just gone. <laughs> you can see us still, right? Though. No. I see you on the map. On the mini map? Yeah. Is your mini map zoomed in? Uh, maybe? I don't know how to unzoom it, if it is. Do you see on my stream where I am in relation to you? Oh. I see where you are, but it's so small I can't. That might be coming for me. Yeah, it kind of looks like it, huh? Have you you connected? That me? might be dragon. landing on me. That might be landing on me. All right, I see the dragon. Okay. I haven't hit it yet, so it's probably. Yeah, ah. Ooh, that's that's a lot of damage. Yeah, hit me, hit me pretty good. Oh, he's on the ground right next to me now. Let's see if I can get some sword hits in. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, look at you meleeing the dragon. I just want to watch and see what happens. Oh, I'll be dead soon. My legs are busted, so I can't. Punching the dragon! You get some good hits in whenever he grabs me. Oh, man, baby. Wait, does it have you in its mouth? Yeah. Oh. Not anymore. I'm dead now. But yes. I'm going to pull a Sid. Oh, it flies away faster than I can catch it. Okay, it does not want me to catch it. Where are you? Below it. Ow, that hurt. This movement glitch needs to stop. <laughs> I think I hit it. Oh, ow. 
Ugh. Oh, here it comes. I got some good hits on it and I got a bleed on it. I don't know how long the bleed lasts. It might bleed out. I don't know. I think it's like at half health. Not really sure. I'm trying to refrain from using my... Uh... Oh, when I'm swimming, I go fast enough that I can I can sustain damage. Where are you both? I'm trying to find my uh, way to you. Yeah, I'd, far, far away. I died. I'm holding out. I want it to be a group kill. I think it knows where I am, though. I see a dinosaur. I don't see you or the dragon. I think we're dealing with some part. We're getting a lot of particle effects, like little hitches. This might be the first time that my uh, that my stream has had this much trouble keeping up. All right, found it. Rail, where you at? Still All right, I got some hits on it. Uh, I'm gonna wait until Rail gets here. But I got some hits. Rail's corpse running. Want to see how fast I can swim? Can Check this out, can't chat. See. When I go underwater. Ooh, that hurt. So I'm apparently just as maneuverable, even more maneuverable in uh, in an underwater situation. I go very zoom. Looks like the dragon's grounded. She won't take to the skies again. Now's our chance. We have to bring the beast down. But only once our resident dwarf is back. I'm, I'm kite tanking. While it's fixated on me, I'm just gonna strafe while Rose does damage and rail corpse runs. I need to heal, I need to heal really, really How bad. How dare you? All of my shit's broken. We've got at. Did all of those just die without, was that you or was that me? I got out to go heal, so I don't know. I'm not gonna make it to you because the other stuff is gonna kill me before I can get there. <laughs> right, I'm oh, I'm going further away. I'm sorry. I'm going the wrong direction. Well, I believe. Do you have a wormhole potion? I've never even seen one. Fanciful Bobbles Potion Wormhole? Does this work? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> there go 60 levels. Caught typing. A tremor. What's its health at? Beats me. I got put in the ground. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to follow. I got caught typing and it killed me. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can catch up with Rail. We'll make our way back together. Yeah, I Trying think you, you should be able to. You're quite a bit faster than I am, I think. This is uh, just goes to show you, this is a lesson. Don't get caught typing in chat when you're in the middle of a raid fight. Oh God. I'm gonna die and lose it. I'm with oh. you. Let's do it. I'm about back to where I died because I can see the XP on the ground. I'm with you. I'm covering your no rear. Which way from here? I'm not sure. Just straight down the river. Just follow the oh, there it flaming is. trees. Where? She's she's right up in the air above us. Looks like she's oh, I see uh, it. Oh, yeah, she's hungry for fairy. She wants an <laughs> she wants another helping of fairy. She is yeah. tracking hard on me, isn't she? Yeah, I think so. Do you get an effect where you get like a like a ringing, like a dragon roar or something? I'm not sure. Uh, oh yeah, it's it's definitely targeting you. 
I the shield of courage trinket that I have makes it so I don't get my screen occluded. But uh, gotcha. but normally you get a lot of ringing and uh, and sound effects. It's nighttime, so these random river chingu are probably gonna murder me. Nah, nah, we got this. We got this. Uh, I lost sight. I don't have eyes on dragon anymore. Southwest. Is it moving away from us again? Uh, it looks like <clears throat> it might be. It's moving. Coming at me moving. again. Something's attacking me. It must be the dragon, right? Yeah, it is. I see it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take a shot. I'm taking a shot with the bow. Something else is hitting me, and I can't tell what. Yeah, it's aggro on me. I don't think my arrows are hitting it. I have not hit it once with an arrow on my damage. Oh no! Oh, it landed. It landed on me! Alright, I'm trying to get over it. If I can get over it. I was in its mouth. Alright, I'm getting hits in. Did that take it out? <laughs> yes, I think okay. so. I couldn't tell if it's actually dead. Uh, uh, there is a there is a uh, strafing walker thing next to you. I okay, can't, yeah. I can't. I, uh... Yeah, I can't the nighttime. Yeah, the nighttime spawns are going to be really hard to get back over here. Look at this butte. She was so angry. Hill. Look how big she is compared to me. Is it possible to, to tell what tier it is compared to the previous one that you fought? Once we've got her skull in hand, we'll know for sure. Yeah, I'm trying to get back over there to... Oh, that was a lot of levels that it dropped. Did it? Yeah. Oh, what'd you get? Uh, 14 levels worth. Hey, Melon. Welcome to my hangout. I appreciate having you here. Okay. I'm here. Oh, hey. I missed the kill, but... Ah. It, I was in its mouth. It was like... I don't think I got the killing blow, though. I did do some damage. But I think Rail might have landed the final arrow. I just started, yeah, spamming arrows at a distance. Why is that walker not dying? I don't know. We've got a very big dragon here. Uh, I'm out of arrows, so I guess that'll be all I... My dragon flaying knife is ready to go if you've... Uh... If you think it's time. Oh yeah, definitely. I think that's a tier four. Well, that was a lot of horns. skills. It had the bigger horns, it might be a tier four or a tier five. And there's a bird. Um, can we not do <laughs> what? Something just laid waste to me. These cinders. And there's a uh Level 40 grew here. And that. Really? Yep. Might be able to kill it. Because Rose just lit it up. Nope, I died. <clears throat> it's almost dead. What? Shadow step. What is this shadow step? What are you doing to me? I think it's almost dead, right? Is it dead? I have I no got idea. Some damage on it. I think I it might be dead. Oh, ah, ah, no, not the birds. Okay. Oh boy! 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 There's like a beholder thing at the village that I I can't kill. That's gonna keep me pinned here. Well, we've got a lot of red dragon scales. I think I'm set for my set. Set to set set. Nice. I need the monsters to go away for a second because there's this habit in this game. Whenever I focus on something, all right, you know what? We're going to put the fire out. Why can't 
ever attack a warg. I don't know what it does to me, but I can never hit it. This movement, by the way, is not me juking. This is... It. Okay. I'm... What was the skull? What's here? Uh, let's find out. If uh, they'll actually let me do anything. There's no way I'm getting back. Let's get ourselves some dragon bones. If I can manage to not kill myself with inertia. I am slightly killing myself with inertia. Can we not, fish? I'm trying to get dragon bones. Yeah, I can't take I can't go by land or by sea. So Everything hey friends. The uh I seem to move a little too fast underwater. That was a stage four dragon. That was not a okay. stage five dragon. Wow. That was I could tell by the horns. Sounds like it's either a four or five. Can you tell from oh, the yeah, horns? Oh yeah, because I forgot you were a dragon tamer at one point, weren't you? Mm -hmm. I'm person. trying to get there again if we can get another egg, but yeah. On our last server, I made it my mission to tame and ride dragons and use them to fight other dragons. Well, that should be enough for uh, for a set. So I think we need to get to crafting. Does Melly play Apex, Sad Melon? Uh, I do. I don't play with strangers uh, yet, but uh, when I've had friends on and interested in playing, I have been jumping in there. I uh, have played with Hambino, and I've played with Evil Toaster, and Alexandria, and Brute, and Amelie. <laughs> Nighttime Skybox looks really beautiful, doesn't it? I really like all the different uh, Northern Lights type auroras, aurora borealis effects that come up. I don't know if you get that in your. Um, do you get that in your texture pack? I'm pretty sure I do. I'm pretty sure I do. So I, uh, I also have another helmet that has a curse of possession. So I think that means I now have two extra. At least one, maybe two extra curses of possession if people want to lock their weapons down. You should play with Ben. He's really good. Ben Prendergast. I played with him the first time that we we did a stream with Amelie, and I've been dying to get back in there with him. He said he'd be interested. We're, uh, we're just trying to get things to line up. Things are, I guess they're probably a little harder during the holiday season, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we get some games in. I'm teleporting back home. <laughs> Keep that. We're gonna get the book. Get first of possession off of this, because that's really useful. Yeah, the holiday season can be, uh, is usually when things start to slow down. So if you're in the middle of a project, um, like I've got something coming up on Friday, uh, you're obviously still working, but I've definitely noticed in the year or so that I've been with an agency, uh, as you get into the holiday season, things just get slower and slower and eventually you kind of just like, okay, acting career is done for the, the rest of the month and we'll see what happens in January. <laughs> Oh, 
Andrew, have a great night. Thanks for hanging out with me. So, I'm gonna put in the mob drops the dragon heart and the dragon bones. If anyone wants to make a canteen or a staff or something. Uh, I have the staff already, but I do. I probably should get a canteen. Unless you want to make yours first, Trail. Oh, no, that's fine. And the fire dragon flesh. The flesh of the dragon gets used to make a demon saddle. Or you could combine it with a bottle of olive oil to get olive oiled fire dragon flesh. What does it do? Who knows? Everything is better with olive oil. Is that really all that the the fire dragon flesh is used for? It's seasoned. I don't know if I have any need to ride a demon, but I'll hold on to it just in case. Uh, also, Rose, I have the book of vampirism. It's on the floor behind you. You could apply that to one of your weapons. Or I guess you could put advanced blast protection on something if you'd prefer. Does anyone get Borderlands 2 Siren vibes from Catalyst? I don't know. Does anyone get Borderlands 2 Siren vibes from Catalyst? Do I sound or does Maya, Maya, right? Maya look like Catalyst to you? You tell me. I've heard a lot of fun comparisons though. But I will always maintain Catalyst is Catalyst. Okay. Yep. So I have vampirism on my main glove. Good. It were two different ones. It's not uh, just like a, a you set. can right I can right click right click and left click and attack with both. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put the skull with the bones as well, I guess. Or maybe that's... Oh, there is a bones. There's actually a bones drawer, so maybe that's where they should go. Should I make the canteen or should I... Hmm. I am, like, dying for night vision. I wonder if I should make the, the ring. Well, the ring does not require any dragon parts. I thought the dragon's eye did. Oh no, it requires the skull, the not the... Dragon's eye does, but there is a there is a step before that that you can use, which is the night vision ring. It is called the ring of... Ring of Enchanted Eyes. And that only requires silver ingots, a glowing ingot, and a golden carrot. At first, you thought Catalyst looked similar to Chloe from Life is Strange. I think I heard someone, when I first announced, someone on Twitter said that. I thought that was very funny. I think I remember there was a tweet that went out that was like, in response to the trailer and was like, whoa, this Life is Strange expansion looks really intense. Or something like that. Wow, what's going on? The Life is Strange girls are doing with eco terrorism now. <laughs> that dragon fight also broke like half of my gear. <laughs> or most of my gear. So I do not need. Two and twenty-one. Wow. Two and 
two and 18. Interesting, some pieces are different than others. The dragon scale legs have 18 locational armor, whereas the golem leggings have 20. But the golem chest has 15 locational armor and the dragon chest has 21. Are there set bonuses? I don't think so. So maybe it's better to mix? If you are absolutely interested in min-maxing, then probably. Hmm. Um, but that also starts to get into the area of, like, at a certain point. How much do you need that min-maxing? So I'm going to use my phantom thread to give myself the dragon scale armor cosmetic. Because I think it looks a lot better. But since I've had this movement glitch this whole time, I am going to have to log out <laughs> real quick so we can actually appreciate it. All right. How do I look in dragon scale armor? Is it charming? Do you like it better than my weird mossy stone armor? What do you think? What do you think? Pretty sharp. Let me come upstairs and see. I've got my stone of the sea necklace on. I've got my badge of courage on my chest. It matches my eyes, sort of. <laughs> yeah, I think it looks good. And now I shall swim like I am wont to do. Under the fence. Okay, can't go under the fence. Over the fence. Look at how fast I swim. Amazing. Is that fast enough to fight a sea serpent? Possibly. I think it's faster than I fly. It looks like it, doesn't it? So this is, if you want to look at the mini-map, this is flight speed. This is swim speed. Oh yeah, that is way faster. So much so that we're going to get land, we're getting lag spikes, and if I hit something, I'm probably going to take damage. Let's see how much damage I take. Oh, I actually do take a decent amount of damage if I hit something while swimming. I'm a little underwater, underwater zoomy angel. <laughs> I wish I could fly that fast. Look at that beautiful sunset. I don't know what that effect is. It looks like I'm, I don't think it's actually happening, but it looks like I'm dragging my spear in the water as I fly. There, now you can get a little sea spray effect. It's not actually doing that. It just looks like it though. for the dragon hunt. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you have a wonderful night. Thanks. Have a good night. Good night. And then there were two. I should say, and then there were 66. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we have a golden carrot anywhere? Uh, I'm sure we can make one. We've got a lot of gold. So the question is, do we have a carrot? Why aren't people intimidated by my wadi fences? <laughs> are they, uh, are they running through or dodging them? I've had a very hard time making good use of my wall. I usually use it to push attacks when I play because it comes out in front of you and goes in a line. It feels often like it's easier to use when you're pushing someone. 
I, uh, I still have yet to have that iconic trailer moment where I catch a team off guard and they all run through it like fools and we wipe them out. All of them. I hope we have that someday. I don't know why this started, but I seem to create a trail when I fly now, and I don't know what's causing that. Hey, welcome back, Svi. So now I guess we need to go find a purple sea serpent at some point, don't we? Yeah. I don't know if I've been able to... A speed cone, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I guess that's possible. I don't know that I've noticed sea serpent types when I've seen them. Maybe I've seen red ones and blue ones. I don't know if I've seen a purple one. But I'll tell you what. I will endeavor to swim around and find them. What color is that? Is that red? Uh, oh. I'll just see. Ah! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. movement glitched again. her throat and the avatar starts talking. Ooh, look at <laughs> you, friendos. Actually, you know what I need to do? What's that? That's what we do at night. We go to the mountains. Well, I am glad you're back, Svi. We are, let's do a check-in. We are at three hours and 57 minutes. Uh, it is 12.55. I probably have another hour. Maybe two in me. We'll see if there's stuff to do. But we will be doing an afternoon stream tomorrow. So if you feel like stopping by in the afternoon, I still am just awful at schedules. So I do not have a specific time yet. But probably sometime between 1 and 2.30 p.m. I'll, uh, I'll go live. 
And then we'll jump into the new expansion. Not expansion, it's the season. The new season of uh, Destiny 2. Keep wanting to say expansion like it's gonna become new content that I'm playing over the next few weeks when really it's probably gonna be like one day as I knock out the time gate. Will you stop descending and let me kill you? Thank you. <laughs> Vibing could go unconscious at any moment. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, you, uh, you tell me if you've been watching streamers longer than I've been streaming. I'm very curious how many keep a, a set schedule and how many kind of just do it at random. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just figuring this out as I go along. So if I fit right in by having no reliable schedule, then that, that gives me some reassurances. I'm sure some must keep a schedule. Although it's hard to tell because I was looking at, uh, I looked at Amelie's and I looked at Evil Toasters and I thought I was seeing just this intricate, carefully planned out schedule and I realized that after you stream, it will retroactively add whatever you did to a schedule. So I too look like I have a schedule if you look at my, my schedule mm -hmm. link. been around since pre-Bits era, so there have been things I've seen over the year. I've seen some things. I was there, man. Hey, that is what I needed. Ring of overclocking. Gimme, 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 gimme. Nice. All right, I have the night vision now, so now I can see. Wait, was that what I needed? Uh-oh. And I made my dragon canteen. So I have a canteen and I can see it. Like yes, anvil and a shulker heart. All right. So next evening, I guess I need to get a shulker heart. And I would ask where you get that, but I feel like, I feel like I know the answer to that question. heart is a bauble, can rarely be found dropped by shulkers, and can also be found in doom-like dungeons. They have a 10% drop chance. That doesn't sound so bad. Ow. 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 Please don't do that. While more established streamers do have schedules, newer ones are touching... Or touching the water ones, like myself. Ah, oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Are random enough to eventually get to a sweet spot of what will become a schedule. Well, yeah, and I guess it's, you know, it's hard to know. You know, I'm sure that if, if I stuck to a schedule from the very start, that uh, would at least make it more predictable so people would know when and how to find me. But, uh... I also just don't know what feels good to me yet. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, Svee. Did you just rubber band? I don't know. So I rubber banded a little bit. I was wondering if it was doing the same to you. I don't. Hard to say. I did uh, go to the end. Could be related. So I need a shulker heart. So let's go find some shulkers. <laughs> 
I wish I could give you that control over the game. Just for the memes, I would absolutely put something in where you could spend either bits or channel currency to spawn birds. <laughs> Bird button. I mean, I'm sure someone comes into this thing with like a massive game, like businessy game plan and just like, it's just absolutely brilliant from the get go. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out and make sure that I actually enjoy this. I do have a tremendous amount of envy for people that come in with that kind of business sense. Because I know that some do. And, uh, and that exists in the acting world as well. I mean, like, I have the same exact level of envy for someone who talks about their acting career as something that, like, you know, they're constantly keeping schedules and they, like, have lists made of everyone that they work with and, and they're constantly scheduling emails and points of contact and blah, 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 blah. And it's just, like, a whole... It's just a whole level. It's just, it's it's a completely different world. My career has been chaos incarnate. <laughs> if there's anything that I can say that I do pretty well, it's that I know how to run with the ball once I've got it. So I suck at finding opportunities. I feel like I've done a re I do a really bad job sometimes of keeping in contact with people and you know hustling. Um, but when I have, you know, if someone gives me their email and says to contact them or, or, you know, I score a callback from an, an audition, I know how to just kill it. I try to give myself some leniency, like, and, and forgive myself in that regard, because some people are going to be good at the business side and some people aren't, and... I'm not amazing at the business side of acting, I, I probably put a lot of... I probably rely on my agents a lot to take care of some of that stuff, but... You know, once I've found the opportunities, I, uh, I try to make the most of them. That's my heart. Nice. Nice. Alright, let's go find a portal out. I know a lot of streams will give a heads up if something IRL uh, causes the stream time to be moved. Yeah, and I guess that works if you plan. Like, I don't think I've even been doing... I've not even done as much as like, hey guys, I'm streaming later today. I feel like for the most part, I've just been like, hey guys, I'm live. <laughs> Let's go. And I know some other streamers will sort of do it, Kate, you know, week by week or something like that. I think I was, I was listening to. I think it was I was listening to uh, a Vox Akuma stream recently, and I think that they were talking about how a lot of the time they'll sort of keep, do it week by week or sort of like every week. They'll look at what the schedule is, and then they'll put up their stream plan for the week. Um, and that seems a little more reasonable to me, in terms of like what I, I think I could reasonably uh, do. Because then at least, you know, if I decide on a stream schedule, that helps me then coordinate with my agency. So if gigs come up, I can tell them, you know, what my plan is. And it creates fewer opportunities for me to have to be like, hey guys, I'm sorry, I can't stream. I got a gig, I gotta be in the studio. Cause like I'll have already scheduled them both around each other. And and that that I could see there being a lot of, uh, a lot of use, you know, a lot of benefit too. 
I'm envious of people who seem to have the business side of their life together. Same. I will say there is a bit of a secret tech to streaming that not many are aware of in regards to times of streams. Really? I mean, I assume that like most things, there are high traffic hours and low traffic hours and sweet spots that tend to garner more attention if you're looking to game that system. I mean, I, I would completely believe that. I'm sure the same goes for things like when televisions go on, you know, go to air, what time slots get the most traffic. I would like to go home now. I guess I could just fly over there. I was hoping for a portal. Just fly home. I might just do that. Just fly. It's just the emptiness of space. Maybe, maybe not. Am I scared? Am I too scared to fly? <laughs> what if something goes horribly wrong? Hitting me. What is hitting me? What is hitting me? Oh, I see you over there. Wait, where'd he go? Did it leave? I suspect PST streamers like yourself could technically stream longer in comparison to EST and CST times, which are faster seemingly by comparison. What? Could stream longer, how come? Well, obviously my late, you know, if I stream until three, that's like six in the morning on the East Coast. So, and obviously it's it makes sense that the traffic is gonna be a little less when half the country is, you know, a ton of the country is way far ahead of you. I watch a YouTube channels sometimes as well where they'll talk about like understanding the algorithms and the metrics and audience, you know, trends and stuff like that. And that is just such a strange, foreign, exciting world to me. Take a very, I feel like I've taken a very um, straightforward approach to things. We're just like, If people keep showing up, I keep doing this. <laughs> I'm excited to hop into Destiny again tomorrow. I had fun. Uh, oh no, 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 no. I had fun today. The frame rate felt a little strange, so I have to make some tweaks and hopefully it'll, uh, it'll play well tomorrow. Just love when this game punishes me for killing things that are trying to kill me. You got a secondary spawn. Mm-hmm. That <laughs> came out and got you. Oh dear. And uh, it's one of those things that's like you're killing these elementals and it's upsetting the balance. So we're gonna send this like really hard to kill thing after you that you can't even hit. Oh yeah. And it's like thanks. They were attacking me, but sure. Come on. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Wait, where'd it go? Buddy. Buddy. I wanted the loot from those things. The purple ones are usually the ones that can drop good stuff. 
God, it's so fidgety. I can't hit it with a bow or anything. Would like to know. Ooh, dungeon. With what the hell is going on over there? Would like to know when you're awake so late. When do you wake up after those late streams? Uh, if I go to bed at like three or four, I'm usually up by like noon. Is that the best? I don't know. If I'm being honest, I think I preferred waking up at nine in the morning with the sun. And so I'm hoping at some point I can get back there. Maybe if I switch to an afternoon stream. But, uh... But for now, I usually wake up around noon. I am trying uh, very hard to find my way home, Rose. If I can manage to find a portal that gets me out of here, I will absolutely come help. I'm also, I guess I'm lagging and because I'm like all over the screen and this thing is like glitching all over the screen and I can't hit it. Uh, it is possible that that is my fault. Because I am generating chunks in my search for a portal. What I probably should do is the next time I find a portal, I should uh, I should mark them on the map so I know where to go back to. Or this might kill me. Oh, I guess I'm coming home. What time zone difference is being a factor? Let's see. Let me catch up. Not very willing to change my own content or often uh, how it is presented just to get a sassy algorithm to bump it up a page or two. I do SEO on my website. Oh, That's it. Okay. Finally. Times and differences being a factor, PST could also pick up JST and EU viewers for example. You know, I have noticed a number of my late night streams as I'm getting ready to to leave, a number of people are hopping onto the stream and wishing me good morning. So I believe that. I believe you. I've been watching before work today and yesterday. Hey, Alice. Are you an example of one of those people that's uh, across the pond? Go to the end. You want me to go back to the end? <laughs> I just got back from the end. I can go back to the end. I don't mind. You have uh, time zone differences. <laughs> it is, I think, a bad time for me. <laughs> Speaking of time zone differences, yeah, that is late for you. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight, Rose. I'm sorry it ended on a frustrating note with an evil Argus. <laughs> I got it down eventually. Yeah, I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I do work tomorrow, but I will be home in the evening, so your afternoon? <laughs> so I'm going to actually be around when you're ready to hop in for Destiny. Have a good night. Yep. Good night. Well, I will come, I will go to the end, uh, Artemog, but, uh, I don't think I'm going to be making a base in the end tonight. I've got a mission of my own, so if you, uh, if you have anything else specific you want to do, I'm happy to, to go check something out for you. I will hop into the end. I made myself a little entrance. We have an egg over there hanging out. We'll have to see if anyone's brave enough to go get it at some point. Uh, 
Uh, swipe or no swiping, you are welcome to DM me. I am frequently doing a whole lot of things at once, so I cannot guarantee I can get back to you swiftly. Um, but you are welcome to DM me, and if it's something that I feel comfortable addressing, I'm happy to help out. Thank you, the great. Have a great night, and also thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you saying hi. I do, in fact, have something I want to take care of, though. So, as much as I want to roam the end, I think I have one other mission that I need to take care of while it's still night. Although we are very quickly running out of time. That is not my hole. Where's my hole? Is that my hole? That's my hole. Oh, they're in the hole! Uh, go ahead and DM me on Twitter. Would probably be a way to reach me if you wanted to. By the way, if you uh, are here by accident and you don't know who I am, I'm Ellie Grant. I'm a voice actor. Uh, I voice primarily anime and video game characters. I voice Catalyst in Apex Legends. And uh, you can follow me there if you want to keep track of me. Discord is not fine, I'm afraid, uh, until I have a Discord set up, in which case I might have a some place for people to leave questions or try to reach out. I'm not sure yet, um, but until I have a public Discord, I don't have a way to be reached on Discord, I'm afraid. Okay. I may have compromised myself, but I'm going to see if I can get to the desert in time to maybe get a little time in hunting for the last item that I need. Oh, well, I can certainly understand that. I find social media has kind of been a necessary evil, but I do try not to spend too much time on there. Why is this what's happening now? No, I do not want this. Can we please not do this now? Boys, 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 stop it. No, I... I... I do not like it. I do not want it. I do not like it. I do not want it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, pterodactyl. Great. Nope. I would. Nope. Nope. Thank you. Nope. Nope. Please. If you don't mind, can we not do this tonight? I've got stuff I'm trying to work on. I'd really, really, really prefer. here. I'm taking a breather. After that. Oh, wow. What were we talking about? What were we talking about? Yeah, oftentimes I find, and at least as someone who works in the arts, that social media can invite comparison and insecurity. So I, uh, I do scroll. I try to make, like, maybe once a day I'll scroll on social media, but I'm usually just, like, looking at people's artwork. And 
I don't, I don't give it too much attention, so I don't blame you there. But the DMs are always open on Twitter, at least for now. Did nothing, I'm barely awake and coherent. I only have Discord or social media, but even that's rare since I'm too embarrassed to talk to people. Okay. Foxfire, are you on any of the other actors' discords, like Chris Edgerly's or Melalee's? Anjali, Allegra. Thanks for the follow. Well, I guess I need to wait for it to become night again. I believe so, although I don't remember the exact names. I think Johnny Young has one called Young Nation. Allegra has one that I think is named after her, her Dragon Age character. And uh, Melalee has one that's called like Starlight. Starlight. I want to say Crusaders, but that's JoJo's, isn't it? It's Starlight something. And of course, yes. And of course, Chris Edgerly, the Edge Boy, has his own as well. <laughs> What is going on? Uh, hang on, not just yet, boys. I just got a message and I gotta check it. Message I need to answer. Uh, if it lets you drop it, you can. Um, but I don't think it's going to let you drop a link in there. And I do not know how to turn that off. <laughs> but you could whisper each other, yeah. Here's our skeleton version of Nessie. Not quite a Nessie, but it was the only name tag I had at the moment. Yeah, I don't think it allows links. I still haven't figured out how to enable clips from my own channel, uh, but I will address that at some point. At the very least, I'll let people post clips that happen here. These are the things that I need. One of these will drop forbidden fruit. And it looks like a little rainbow apple. Or I think it's at least like an orange and green apple. And I'm hoping that it drops for me, because that is one of the last items that I need. Anjali just did this really awesome uh, tabletop thing, didn't she? I saw a 
handful of photos from uh, Eric Ishii's channel about it. It looked like a whole lot of fun. Super chaotic, which is exactly what you want from something like that. They all looked fantastic and beautiful, and I was super jealous. <laughs> Erica sent me this whole video of the uh, the hotel place that she was staying in, and it just looked completely outrageous. I hope I get to go to conventions at some point. I've uh, I've been encouraging people, including all of you, to drop my name with your local convention if you'd like to meet me in person. Um, since we're sort of in the holiday season, I reached out to a couple of different uh, booking agencies for appearances and most of them wrote back and were like yeah we're totally interested but it's kind of almost christmas so email us in january and i'm like okay i guess <laughs> we'll try again in january because i would love to go out to places and visit people I know I mostly do this without uh, without camera, but I don't mind going places in person and seeing people. I'll be doing my signing on Saturday on camera, but for the most part, we do uh, we do off camera here. We are getting oh, it's only three o'clock in the afternoon. We've got a little bit longer to wait before we get tonight. Tell you what, we'll come back here later at night. We've got a little bit of time, so I say we continue the exploration. That's as far as we got. This is where that awfully spawned city was. I want to go to here, and let's head sort of southwest-ish. And we'll see what there is to find. You lost your Takis? What is it? Where, did, you, did you set them down somewhere? One of your trans friends crossing the border every day. Oh, uh oh. You better find it. This is how we get ants. Do you want ants? <laughs> Oh, another one of those things. There are some, kind of like the big Colosseum we found over here. There are some other structures you can find I've heard of in this world that are just wild. Like absolutely insane large structures, but they're super rare. So part of me likes exploring just to sort of see if I can come across any of these things. Like maybe just chance into one of the super rare, rare ones by accident. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Ooh, I like those buildings. Those are enchanting buildings. They have lots of enchants. So first things first.
first things first. Let's figure out where we are. Crew Ark Zur. Crew Ark Zur. And second, we are going to go explore that enchanting building. See what weird mysteries it holds for us. Hopefully some really awesome high-end enchants would be kind of cool. If I had my say. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Or there might be nothing. Magma Walker. Sure, I'll take it. There's bound to be more. Ah. Oh, that freeze. Server might be due for a restart <laughs> after stream tonight. I can take Depth Strider. Hey, buddies. Anything good in here? Ooh. What do we got? Smite 5, Fire Aspect, Punch, Razor's Edge, Assassinate, not a whole lot, Silk Touch, Aqua Affinity, and another Aqua Affinity. That is not amazing. Not amazing. I might leave all of this here. Uh, but we are coming up on night, so as quickly as we got here... Actually, we can just go out and use the desert over here. Oh, green dragons. And all of this bright. I do not like how bright it is in the desert when there's a sandstorm. It's very hard to see. Hard to see the monsters, even harder to see the loot that they drop. Hey, friendo. Nope. I see you over there. Are you a husk? No, you're a zombie. Uh-oh, something took my flight away. Something took my flying away. That's a husk. Hello, Vera. Oh, you go away. Took my flight away again. So those things spit. And those things that spit seem to ground me. Yeah, Zuffins has been hanging out with us. I didn't know you were still here, Zuffins. I'm glad you're here. Hey Zuffins, do you want to be part of my adventure tomorrow in Destiny, or are you busy? It's no biggie if you're busy. You can message me privately too if you want. I don't mean to put you on the spot. What is your Destiny adventure? Hello Zuffins! Uh, well, it's a new season. Is it? Ah. So I figured we could have a little adventure. Of challenges or? Yeah, I've been making the mistake all week. I keep thinking it's an expansion when in fact it's a season, so... Initially I went in thinking that starting on Tuesday I'd be doing non-stop Destiny, but chances are it'll be more like 
Destiny Tuesdays. <laughs> Since you usually get done with the season content pretty quickly. Well, I'll tell you, we uh, we jumped in and we're pretty reliable grinding out this uh, this last season until we were high enough for the hardest content, and then we didn't do it at all. Yeah, I don't dispute that. Which isn't a critique. I'm just saying I don't know if. Um... Oh, we still have some Hambino viewers. I love it. I was so sad that I missed that raid, by the way, because I would have gotten to use my emotes. Oh, I am super, super grateful. Um, and I'm going to make sure to thank them later. I think it's really cool that uh, that we got a raid. I like Ambino's stream. Giant death worm egg. What are those used for? Seemingly nothing. Wait, I think something terrible has happened. I think my the sub that I got gifted to Hambino has run out. I think it's been a month. Oh no, I wouldn't have used my emotes. Oh dear. Is Oops. that you like low-key asking for somebody to sub you? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Well, and I've said I've said this before that I I do burn out and it's it's one of my biggest critiques of the game is that they they make you wait for that content. Yeah. That's kind of the biggest issue for me. Um, because inevitably, yeah, I, I tend to spend half the season gearing up so I can finally go into the content that I love more than anything else, and then I burn out just in time for it. <laughs> That's a great I... gameplay, though. We jumped into Destiny, I don't know, like a week ago, and I didn't feel like I needed it in my life. Really? Just like for the moment, I don't know. Like with Apex, I've been doing a ton of Apex. Every day I knock the challenges out. And like that's that states my FPS needs. I don't know. We need to play more Apex then. If I get you, uh, you and Rail, or or you and Rose in there, we can start doing Apex streams. I was reading a little bit about. Um... Hey, thanks for gifting this up. I appreciate it. That is very kind of you. Brutus being a homie. Yeah. Sorry. Um, no, no. Yeah, I, just, I don't. I don't know. Do you know? Do you know anything about the season? I, I think it, the the content has felt stale. Um, like, you know, there's always this activity that you go in and grind, and there's like annoying things to do, and it's like repetitive, and you have to do it like five times every week, and and there's like the story mission. It's, it's very samey. I don't know. Okay. We have uh, absolutely nothing to go on. I'll give you a dude back for that, Brutus. I uh, we have very little to go on. They've they've given us nothing. There have been no trailers, and they finally announced big new season trailer, and like everyone rushed over to the YouTube page, and it's set for seven in the morning. Oh, okay. Nice. So I don't know what the the strategy is there. But it seems like, and it's not the first time that they've done it, it seems like Destiny is offering absolutely no announcements, no teasers, no previews about what's coming in the new season. Ooh, with a low, a low trumpet dude. This is truly the trumpet boss. Let's go. Anything good? Anything good? No loot? Not even a trumpet. Heartbreaking. The trombone dude. Doot doot. And I realize it's kind of like saying, you know, my favorite phrase, which is the so powerful it can only be used for good or evil. Um, but, you know, we have no idea what to expect from the coming season. We don't know if they haven't been previewing it because it's just that good <laughs> and there's no chance that they could possibly show us anything because it would spoil it, like there's just too many surprises, too, too much at stake. Or if they're not showing us it because there's going to be a whole lot of nothing going on. I'm hoping for the former. 
I would love it to be an awesome season. I love Destiny. What would make my season would be if we get a whole bunch of things that will never happen. It would be if we get a catalyst, no pun intended, for the Wish Ender, Bo. And if we see some awesome new uh, cosmetics for both Wish Ender and my favorite exotic, the, uh, the Oath Keeper. Yeah, yeah. I, I know there are, there are a number of like goodies that would make you really into it. Something interesting that happened this last season was like there was a raid, and you didn't like any of the uh, looks of the items, and so you didn't want a raid. Like you, you didn't see a point, I guess. Um, it was a very fun raid, but I didn't have anything I really wanted from it. Yeah, you're right. No, that was that was a challenge for me because it was a very fun raid. I just didn't find it exciting. Like the the loot was just boring to me. And, uh, and I guess that just goes to show you that even when mechanically it's really amazing, if there's nothing in there that you want, it's gonna, it's gonna limit what, you know, the amount of patience you have for it. Yeah. Uh, yes, you can enjoy my two emotes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to work on getting some more in there. I think the emotes, if I'm being completely honest, the emotes are probably going to take a back seat to just about everything else uh, for the time being, including things like, wow, that lag spike, including uh, Discord and... I've dropped 36 frames this stream, I wonder why. What did I do to deserve this? I usually don't drop streams. Maybe I have too many weird porn websites open in the background. Here. I, uh, what was I saying <laughs> before I started talking about weird porn websites? Um, yeah, I think my, I think my emotes are probably going to take a backseat. There's a lot that I'm figuring out, uh, including things like, you know, having public access to a Discord somewhere, and I'm getting, uh, a version two of my, uh, my little PNG tube thing that I'm using here. I'm kind of give it a little bit of polish, not a whole lot, just a tiny bit of polish. And um, just being consistent and, and getting things like stream labs and stream element stuff set up and, and working better in and around streaming like every day, which doesn't leave a whole lot of time. <laughs> um, and then if I like it and I enjoy what I'm doing and it seems like this is something that uh, that people want to be around for, then I start to look into maybe doing some actual VTube stuff. But I feel like all of that comes before I worry about making emojis. We'll see. I have a couple of other, if it lets you change them later, like if you're allowed to delete and re-add emojis later. I have a bunch of these Damari emojis that you have, like uh, the one that, that Swiper No Swiping's using. Um, and I could upload a handful more of those. I mean, if people were interested, but um, I definitely eventually see myself switching out completely for something a little more me at some point in the future. Not seeing a lot of husks around here. Zuffins, I finally hit the moment where I am starting to die from starvation and dehydration instead of just being murdered by monsters. Oh, I see. Congrats. So that is a landmark. Life is so hard. I don't want to send you off a cliff uh, if you feel that way about that character, but if you look hard enough, uh, I have done a very short Jessica Rabbit impression. I think it's on YouTube somewhere on my channel. <laughs> I 
Ah, thank you, Ice Creamer. And Diabetox. What's going on? I am in Pacific Standard Time. It is 1.46 a.m. for me. Uh, and let's just do a little check-in. We are at the 4 hour and 47 minute mark. So we're actually not, uh, we're not that long for this world. I think we'll probably be getting out of here in the next 15, 20 minutes. Uh, we'll probably call it shortly after the five hour mark, I think. So, be forewarned. But don't worry, I'll be back. We're gonna be streaming Destiny tomorrow afternoon in Pacific time. Uh, and then I'll probably stream again, probably Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, and then Friday will definitely be an evening stream because I have a session that day, so I have to be in studio. Uh, and Saturday, we'll see. Saturday, we may not. Uh, we're definitely going to have the signing, uh, my Streamily signing, which uh, if there's a link for that there, Zeppins, I won't double type it with you. <laughs> no, uh, you go, go. If you... Uh, are interested, this is just kind of my late night plugins, plugins, plugs. <laughs> um, Saturday stream will be a live signing stream. Uh, so instead of playing games, I will be chatting with you and signing some autographs, prints. And um, if we have some time after that, then I might play a little bit, but I do have afternoon and evening activities. So probably Saturday will just end up being the live stream. And that will happen here on this channel. Uh, and so whether or not you're interested in having me sign anything for you, please show up. Uh, I'll definitely post about it so you can r come through and hang out with me. Um, but if you are interested, you can head over to the Streamly and see if any of the prints there interest you. And we can still, it's not too late. We can still do a, a signing live for you. By we, I mean me. <laughs> But if you can't make it, that's fine. Uh, there will be more. And uh, and like I said, just to reinforce it, uh, I don't want to send the wrong impression if you're, you know, tight on cash or you're not interested at all. And so you're not uh, you're not going to do the signing thing yourself. Like, still hang out with me. Come hang on the stream. Chat in the chat. Like, it's going to be a party either way. And that is 1 p.m. Pacific on a Saturday. Is that a husk? Give me your forbidden fruit. I think it's Got it. Yeah, baby. The signing and the fruit. Congratulations. All right. Is that swearing? Let me Google translate this to make sure it's not, you know, horrible. <laughs> Gonna make sure that uh, we haven't been saying illegal things in the chat. Yeah. Ooh, I'm missing yeah. one more thing. I'm missing vitamins. Where the hell do you get vitamins from? Oh, I know where you get vitamins. Water temples. Oh, honey, you don't want me signing your dogs, do you? <laughs> do your dogs consent to that? Sign my dogs. Uh, this is RL Craft normal, uh, but I am a fairy at the moment. You know, when I was growing up, actually, we don't need to do this at a water temple, do we? We could do this at an underwater temple. That might actually be a smarter place to do it. Because we can get loot that way, too. 
Let's go there instead. Uh, when I was growing up as a kid, we had two cats growing up. Um, we ended up having more cats later, but when I was a very teeny tiny ch child, um, our two family cats were named Tanya and Sasha. Oh, is it Melon? I think Tanya is a beautiful name. Uh, what stage of the mod pack are you in? Well, on the server, we're all at different stages. I am probably the furthest ahead. Um, I have done just about all the things short of the super secret evil dimension that we don't talk about yet because I want to surprise my chat. Oh, did I say too much? There's a super secret evil dimension that I'm going to take you to and it's going to be horrible. We're gonna play scary music, and it's gonna be a terrifying jump scare of, uh, of a Minecraft night. <laughs> Diabetox, these were uh, my childhood pets. Um, I don't know if I have photos of Sasha and Tanya, actually. Take a check. I'm sure my mom does. Um, so I'm getting worried. I move very fast underwater, and it's kind of disorienting and horrible. If it were the kind of thing where... What is going on with this water? Let me see if I can fix this. a lot of noise. There we go. Got rid of all the noise. Oh yeah, this is really disorienting. I hate to say it, I might have to get rid of... I might have to make an executive decision and get rid of my underwater movement buff because it is very hard to maneuver. Like, this is just too fast. I'm also taking damage from running into walls too quickly. That is just insane. So that's the Underwater Strider 3. Combined with the Enhanced Swimming of the Armor Stone. No, we are not losing items on death. We would not be playing on this server, I think, if that was turned on. <laughs> I have so much respect for people that can handle that, but uh, we took a vote and we decided hell no to losing items on an RL craft server. Can you imagine being in the bottom level of a dungeon and dying? Like, all that gear is gone forever. You're not getting that back. <laughs> I suppose I can see that. I understand. I, um, I've actually been 
the thing that I found the most challenging is the thought of exactly what you just said. Trying to find in chance and just having no concept of where to begin. Hoping to find supreme in chance and just having no guarantee that RNG is going to be on your side. I can't even begin to tell you how much I dream of opening one of these boxes and getting just an amazing high level enchant, but I've not been very lucky. <laughs> Some of these should drop the strength pills. It might be these big boys. Oh yeah, they're there, nice. Yeah, I am not having fun with the, uh, I'm very much not having fun with all this movement speed. So I think there actually is such a thing as too fast. Um, if you've got recommendations on stuff like, here's how to find high-end enchant, high enchants, I am all ears, my friends. If they're like cheat codes, I don't think I want those. I'm an op anyway, I could cheat things in if I wanted to. I'm just trying to see if I can do it the normal way. <laughs> What's the fun in giving yourself the end of the game? Okay, look, buddies, 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 buddies. Can we not do this right now? I'm sure there is a trap under one of these chests and I need to find it because it's gonna drive me insane. Is it this one? It's this one. Get. Go away. Okay. Can we do some looting now? No, we can't, because there's a manta ray. I will check that in just a second. Also, I seem to be sinking, not flying, which... Isn't sinking just flying upside down? Yeah, I don't, I'm not, is it flying but upside down? Is that what you just said? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm busy. Yeah, I don't really want to be underwater right now. I'm gonna open this last one and then we're gonna get out of here. Or I'll get killed by a fish. Where, 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 where? This movement speed. This movement speed is a nightmare. I'll tell you what, I might cheat. I might actually put on my admin powers to like nerf my boots back down so I don't move this fast underwater anymore. I think this was an absolute mistake. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. I am so done with this place. And then I wanna see what Gashkata has to say. All right. I see you're annoyed with water level. <laughs> So just look for another type of dungeon, the ones that look like regular houses on top that have staircases leading underground. They have the best enchants and are out of water. Let me ask you this, Gosh. Um, do the ones that have the long staircases down, do those have better odds of getting enchants than the weird pink and green alien dungeons? Because I found a number of those as well. Swiper, I'm Susta as fuck. Because my check hasn't hit my account in three days. Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that. Diabetox sinking is just swimming up upwards in the southern hemisphere. Zuffins, a chatter after your own heart. Yeah, they they understand. Alien dungeons are not for enchants, they're more for the challenge. I did not know that. I assumed that the alien dungeons with the bosses would probably be the hardest ones, but you know what? 
If any of you were here last night, I found one of those dungeons and do you remember how often I was talking about how all the loot was garbage? It was just non-stop garbage loot the entire way down until I think the very last room I got like an unbreaking tome, which is nothing. So that is uh, disheartening. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm very happy to know that now. That that's gonna help me plan my uh, plan my next couple of days. That's really good to know. Yeah, and I'm very excited for what comes next. Thanks for following, Gosh. Haven't spoiled it yet for my chat, but I'm very excited to show them that place. You know the place. We match tones. Now one of us has to die. Uh, <laughs> any of the dimension bosses yet? I'm not sure I actually know what those are. Are those the ones that you summon? I feel like I remember there being summonables, but we'll, uh, we'll have to get to that. I suspect the answer to that is no. Are you? Where are you? Am I seeing you through something right now? Yes, you're outside. This is really disorienting. I feel like I'm... What is happening? I think you're outside. It's just very hard to tell. Look at that glow effect. It's so wild. All right. Uh, mending goes in the mending box. Magma Walker and Depth Strider can go in the enchanting box. Let's deposit some of this stuff. blocks and diamonds, white death worm, chitin, and egg. I'm really curious about this giant death worm egg. I feel like this is going to come in handy later. Heart shards, eye of ender. Do I have anything else in here? I do have some tomes that I need to put away. Ah, I take it back. It is not entirely RL craft. We do actually have iron chests and iron backpacks installed. Why? Crab, get out of my house. I do not want you in this house. Forbidden fruit. I think we might have enough to make something fun. Do you want to have fun? Is that? <laughs> I mean, does that really follow the uh, the mod's intended experience? <laughs> you definitely need a guardian spawner to protect your vicinity. Can I make one of those? Is that possible? Zuffins, of course I want to have fun. Although I have a feeling when I'm having less fun, my chat is having more fun. <laughs> is that true, chat? Do you, uh, do you take pleasure at my demise? Is that what's really going on here? All right, and what goes around the edges? Gold, that's it, easy. 
We got plenty of gold. We got gold all over the floor. Rail just took a Scrooge McDuck bath in gold earlier tonight. Unk Charm grants immunity to most negative status effects. That has been a long time coming, and now let's waste a tremendous number of glowing ingots, seeing if we can give it undying. Because of course I would. Thank you, Lag Spike. Or let's get attacked by something. What's attacking me? It's you, and you killed me. Congratulations. I'm in golem armor and you killed me. Because I'm a fairy. That's what fairy life be like. All right, what were we doing? Ooh, that is not, wait a minute. That doesn't light it up? Does it need gold? It better not need dragon scales. Hopefully it needs gold, that would be amazing. Doesn't need gold. Getting worried. Forgot the block name, but there's a block that you can fuel with redstone and it spawns mobs. Stuffins, we can make mob spawners to give our town guardians. Is Zuffins gone? No, no, I, I think that's a cool idea. Hey, um, welcome back. Guardians like the, uh, the, the angry water mobs? I think are the ones that have the blades around them. Obsidian doesn't do it either. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's see what the Discord says. Something I've complained about is that, like, there's, like, mob spawn in our town that's dangerous because there's, like, dark spots. That's why I was talking about lighting it up the other day. So having more guard kind of mobs would be, a uh, would be cool, although I, I don't like the uh, the ocean one. What about spectral silt? Spectral silt. Okay. That's not great. We have far less spectral silt. And now it's horrible. Cool. How do we get more spectral silt? We use disintegration tablets on other trinkets. No problem, we are actually just after two o'clock, so we are about at my stop time. Gotta say, I thought you could do this with runes. Can you not do this with runes? Yeah, you can, okay. And how do we make disintegration tablets? Redstone, blaze powder, and nether quartz. Redstone, blaze powder, and nether quartz. Okay. Well, I'm going to work on this. And I'm going to do it alone. Because we've been at it for about 5 hours and 11 minutes. And I think that's where I'm going to call it. And my music also stopped for some reason, which is a little strange. Did you reach the end of it? I might have reached the end of it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> but hey, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate all of the new follows. I appreciate everyone that decided to stick with me after Hambino's stream. It really means a lot to me that you spend this time for, with me. I know you don't have to be here, so the fact that you choose to spend this time with me uh, is very meaningful, and I don't take it for granted. Um, to, uh, to new chatters, people that haven't been here before, welcome. Um, feel free to... Go ahead and uh, and give me a follow to keep tabs on me because I will be doing this again. Uh, thank you for the advice, Gashkata. Uh, I'm definitely going to uh, save some of those notes so that we can take advantage of it next time. Um, and that's it. Uh, tomorrow, sometime between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, keep tabs on my Twitter and I will let you know when I go live and we will play some Destiny. 
hope you have an absolutely wonderful night. And, uh, and again, thanks for uh, spending your time with me. That's where I do that thing where I talk over the... Uh, you are talking over it, fading out, yeah. <laughs> that was my intention. Yeah. I, I appreciate you completely hampering the end of the, the stream. It's, it's very kind of you. <laughs> All right. Have a good night.